We moved him over uh, Carson style. Yeah, for a huge super superstar. That's right, Colin Quinn. Yeah. Colin. Who's playing Caroline's this weekend? Fantastic Bob. Yeah, I was until I said stupid star. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get a straight shot at Opie now. This is what I like. All right, very 212, good. 212, Caroline's number is 212 757 4100. Are I'm, you there through Sunday or just through Sunday? Yes, I'm doing a portrait right now called Tibetan Lesbian on Couch. <laughs> 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 he made fun of you again. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> he got he got slammed before uh, the show even started, uh, before the show came back from break, because Colin was coming in, and we told Bob, look, you're going to have to go to the couch, because Colin's coming up to the mic. It's like Carson, you well, know? Kenny right. said that. The new guy comes in, yeah. so, so then he had to move to the couch. So then uh, Bob tried to get you, Colin. He sits down on the couch and goes, why don't you put Fatso on the couch? And without missing a beat, Jimmy goes, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be honest, guys. Let's look That's at hysterical. Let's be honest. Colin put on a few pounds. <laughs> did you, I Colin? put on a few. Did you? Yeah, of course I did. But like, I'm a person that that got fat. Yeah. I'm not a person that is fat. <laughs> <laughs> Bob should be like you know throwing a spear at a whale, like, <laughs> Manitoba. You, you look like my aunt Peggy, fatso. <laughs> aunt, aunt. <laughs> Yeah, you look like a middle-aged housewife. <laughs> no, Colin what? looks the yeah, same as he did when I saw him. Yeah. He's whipping huskies on a sled look right now. Look at the size of his head. <laughs> look at your head. At least I have, a, I have my hair left. You look you like don't, a, I'd rather have you look like the, you, look like the, you look like the fat mosque in Iraq. <laughs> the Sunni insurgent is going to blow up the mosque. You look like the Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> know what I love about this? Colin has your number. Oh, he has your number. Colin has every. He, yeah. he has a lot built up. Let me tell you, he has a lot built up. I, I, I will say that uh, Bob, Bob can be pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, we've seen oh, it. Yeah. Not we've necessarily seen it? amusing. But, but, but <laughs> just brutal. No, yeah, Bob's the guy that goes too far. Like you're no filter guy on here. You know, he's the greatest. Hey, Steve, he's yes. the greatest. He's the greatest Bollywood uncle in the Bollywood musical. <laughs> Bollywood. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore. Uh, will Bob be appearing anywhere at Mohegan Sun besides in front of the buffet? Oh, that's you know what? Cool. Fuck you, <laughs> Obi. Go fuck yourself. Hey, you know, the coast. Hey, hey. Sorry. Hey. We're about He's 45 like, minutes from that, my are. friend. Oh, oh, you can't do that? No, now? we can't do that. No. I thought we were on XM. And now oh. you wrecked Stephen S.'s uh, great line because you cursed at the end. Aha, uh -huh, Stephen S., I wrecked your line. Do you, do you curse when you're uh, selling rugs to tourists in Istanbul? No, <laughs> so don't do it here. <laughs> and, 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 Stephen, look, <laughs> Quinn's not like Voss where he's going to... He's going to uh, throw it a, a stinker. Yeah. He's just going to have nine of them. He sounds like them. He mumbles like them. At, Mo <laughs> at Mohegan Sun, don't get upset when you walk by and hear people go, Tatonka. Tatonka. <laughs> Why is everybody beating up on Bob? Yeah, leave uh, him Why do you think? Joe, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're enjoying you're it just, more than anyone. Oh, but back, yeah, but, you're the worst. Yeah, but Jimmy. that's Jimmy's pause because he's got a good one coming. That's good. <laughs> I, don't I don't like it. Uh, don't also, like um, uh, from someone's cell phone, Man Cow, the official radio show of the Lewis and Clark Trail. <laughs> That's very, very good. He's in all these cities that are just like, they were hot spots in 1850. <laughs> Deadwood. Were all the, yeah, he's in Deadwood. When the gold rush was happening. He's great. Yeah, I'll be in, uh, up in the uh, Pacific Northwest <laughs> uh, trying to find a new route. <laughs> hey, uh, let's say hi to Jeff in Jersey. Jeff, what's going on? Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. I, uh, Bob, uh, I was the guy who bought you breakfast on Wednesday, Newark Airport. Oh yeah. oh yeah, thank you, buddy. Oh, that was How you doing, man? good, buddy. I, what did your credit card company call up? I <laughs> think it was stolen. <laughs> I actually was having, I was having a really nice breakfast. Yeah. I was having. Tell them what I was having. Here's the deal. I, we only got 45 minutes left on this side of the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I got this huge breakfast plate, and it cost me seven dollars with the tax and the tip and the coffee and the juice and the whole thing. So I went to the guy up front. I said I want to buy this guy breakfast. So I take out a ten dollar bill figure, and that should cover it. It was like eighteen dollars. <laughs> was it eighteen dollars? I ordered, I ordered fruit, cottage yeah. cheese. Uh, I ordered like uh, a couple eggs over. I ordered like a special type of dietary meal. <laughs> special dietary <laughs> meal. Up the whole hour over there. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, right. Thanks for the nice gesture. I hope I see you at the airport again. I'm going to throw eggs at your face. <laughs> Another uh, instant feedback from Gutshot Drew. The morning hole has dirty. We were talking about Eric and Kathy up here yeah. in Chicago, just wrapping that uh, talk up. The morning hole has dirty, dirty thoughts about pseudo over aggressive tank while she's betting her henpecked whipped husband. Yep. The fake husband. Colin, you've done those radio shows, right? Uh, yeah, I've done them all. The guy and the girl, they act like they're a Still couple for six, some reason. Six seats in the show. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were a couple. I don't even think I was invited on Eric and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they act like they're married and a couple, and some then the guy will married. say something. And I find that when me and the other soccer moms are driving our minivans, we like to have something we can identify with. You like with. listening to that and go, oh, the this little is fights. good. And it teaches you how to yeah. get along and suffer silently through your awful marriage. <laughs> You know what I mean? And you don't drive them into the side of the school yeah. or anything. You know? The guy talks about mowing the lawn, and she goes, oh, and you always do it wrong. Well, hon, I just, why don't you get out there and give it a try, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Right now, just, I, I just feel waiting like, for one of those shows to snap. That would yeah, be just lose their mind. the best. I feel like I'm in the basement with my five uncles when they used to make me just sit there and get them beers and open them and... Why? What else could they make you, you do? Yeah. The Bob's couch having a mood swing. The, the I'll tell you why, too, if you want an analysis of Bob. Not it's, beat, it's not beat up on Bob Day. Yeah. It's just Bob's dream is, which I figured out, is to be like a guy, like a Budweiser commercial. They have a bunch of friends, and they sit around and have a few laughs on the weekend. He wants to live that <laughs> Eric and Kathy life. Really? Yep. But he's so twisted. But he, yeah, he doesn't realize, yeah. like, after six years, hi, neighbor, and his neighbor's a normal one's going to accidentally run over, like, his seed feeder or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then they see their guys get, like, pruning shears in his eye because Bob turns on him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't think Bob could make a good neighbor? <laughs> yeah. He'll pull it off for a while, but then, yeah. yeah. Hey, how you doing? Like, talking over the hedge to his neighbor. Right. And then after a little while, like, one thing goes a little wrong. Yeah. And Bob just loses his mind, yeah, because Bob breaks into the house and not kills his, his family. Yeah, he'd love like all of us, like Norton Patrol, all of us to be over at each other's house, laughing, watching the sports center. Clinky, hey, clinky I hope the ladies laughing. let us get away with this. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with having friends? Oh, no, I hope the wives don't hear us down here. Yeah, that'll brew the fun. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it is you want to live the American dream and you're not fit for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. On two levels. <laughs> you actually look like you lost. Wait, I'm not, I'm not teasing. <laughs> he think, do you I think I'm God. really going into that Don't softball? Fall for it. Do you I, think, do you, I may be taking <laughs> a pounding, Norton, but I'm not. <laughs> yes, a, I'm not that's that right. stupid. That's right. I'm not. You Norton, look like a little. Norton, like, don't you? How fat is he? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You look like you lost. I'm not even. Shut up, you lying body stocking <laughs> build. No, I'm not. Yeah, you, you, you really do look like an unfinished clone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to be helpful. Oh, <laughs> no, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, Larva. Oh, so shut up. <laughs> Norton reminds me of Larva, and I don't even know what that looks like. But it's just a name. Larva. It does. He looks like he should be James Larva Norton. He looks like he should be eating his way out of an apple. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh, you are hurtful. <laughs> I'm just sitting there being oh, yeah. hurtful. I can't just give his friend a compliment. I know. tried to help him and support him. Yeah. Yeah. Pick him up out of the dumps. <laughs> That's exactly what he would do to that neighbor, too. I have no doubt that he's oh, psychotic, yeah. this one. Yeah, oh, yeah. When yeah. it comes right down to it, like Bob Kelly will get some things done. His neighbor he has would look to. over the hedge and Bob's walking away, and then like he sees below Bob's head, Bob's nude and covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tim, oh, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, hey, what yeah, just that awful ass and his <laughs> stupid feet pointing out to him. <laughs> balance out the rest of that. Bob nude looks like a fat Vanessa Manillo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, are, are we ready for the update? <laughs> finally, the, oh the update. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Remember the 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 the, the girl at Six Flags. Losing yeah, the one feet. that lost their feet. Yeah, an update. You hear this story? Come no, on. haven't read a newspaper, huh? Well, you know, I've been out on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the local paper. What's the bad neighborhood? <laughs> Where do the gays hang out? <laughs> I really hit him at the show that night. 
<laughs> hey, this guy's from Sperling Town, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to go after the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Colin's not above puffing a cigar through a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin Coyne at Caroline's all weekend long, starting tomorrow night. Yeah, this girl's oh. feet got cut off. It was a great, like a, a I, yeah. Six Flags in Kentucky, and she was on a ride, and her, both of her feet got ripped off. The it was a ride. I can lend it to you. Yours, Caterpillar. Not <laughs> 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 many to spare. Yeah, yours just grow back. I hey. just would love to know how to get ripped off. She she was on this Superman ride where they sit in this uh, circular thing and their feet dangle over the edge and it gets lifted up to about 250 feet and then kind of free falls until you about 20 feet from the ground and then you know the brakes come on right. and they hoisted them up to 250 feet and this cable kind of snapped and actually wrapped around her feet. Oh my God! And ripped her feet off, oh. both feet. Just both. And she feet. lived. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and both feet just kind of tumbled 250 feet to the ground, which I always think is the the reason. Like they could reattach it until it hits the ground, and then you got two broken feet. Why do I feel like if you weren't doing this, you'd be one of those carnival ride operators, Anthony? Yeah, I could be. You got that look about you. I got that, you know, hey, come on. You're from Patchahug, I know. The, give the cute girls the free ride. <laughs> that is like 14-year-old girls. <laughs> hey, you're cute girls. <laughs> Go out later. <laughs> ah. Oh, I love it. What's wrong with a few statutory rape charges in hope. various <laughs> cities that this roving carnival uh, goes to? <laughs> They'll never catch me. <laughs> I told you, Opie, uh, Anthony's brother beat up my cousin one time there from yeah. years ago. Really? Know, years ago. In Patchogue or in Ronkonkoma. Wait, somewhere. Yeah, I think One of these hillbilly towns. One of those from Ice Lip or yeah. somewhere. He gave my cousin a nice thumping. A little th sound what, thrashing. For what reason? I think he was being a dick. He might, well, of I course, you, you look, that's your family's uh, yeah, side of the table. Story. <laughs> it, was, it was the Irish against the Italian. It had to, uh, it had to go down. Really? Yeah. I never heard that one. Yeah, there was something going on there, and Joe had to pummel him. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Later, my uh, mother decided she had to move us to a cheaper place, so we moved to Central Islip, Whoa. which I just, yeah. Then I got my ass kicked yeah, constantly. Yeah, Give me 50 cent. That's what I heard every day. Give me 50 cent. Like, okay, please don't be a Ew, you give it to him? I have to. No, you don't. You stand up for yourself. It's prison. You're saying no. I was in elementary <laughs> prison. That's what I was in. I was yeah, in CIA elementary is. prison. CI is yeah, hardcore. Not, oh, you have to give them the money. Jeez, you, you got to give them the give 50 cents. Sexual favors like you. <laughs> <laughs> you just I, I have a better idea than 50 cents. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded that if baby body wasn't nervously shifting his feet while he said it. <laughs> I had no, my leg hurt. <laughs> Shut up, tall baby body. <laughs> his knee his knee is still uh, healing. Good. Right. 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 As soon as it heals, I want to smash it with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it heals, he's scheduled to be slaughtered by a Cambodian village ritually. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Brando. You heard him. I, I heard him. And he really has got some good ones. <laughs> I wish you didn't tell him I was going to be in. He was, up, he was up all night writing. <laughs> Are you an assassin, Willard? <laughs> all right. Well, we got the update on the feet girl. Yeah, let's hear about her. Feet, feet girl update. <laughs> The girl whose feet were severed while riding on this Six Flags ride in Kentucky is now in stable condition. In wobbly in condition. From Vanderbilt University <laughs> Medical Center, where 13-year-old Caitlin Lassiter is being treated, hospital management said the parents of Caitlin Lassiter would like to acknowledge everyone across the country that have been supporting their daughter with many positive thoughts and prayers over the last six days. What, do they hmm. reattach the feet or not? They haven't said, and they won't say. They said, uh, uh, "How are we going to reattach the feet?" I don't Stupid. Know. I, I, they 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 gathered them up and took them to the hospital. Procedure? I don't know. Sure they, some type of microsurgery? I yeah. think. Uh, Imagine with a needle and thread, <laughs> and glue and a hot gun. <laughs> they, hot glue gun. Just just gray dead feet. Oh, it's, they're gonna look awful. <laughs> well, they put Frank them on and feet. Crooked. <laughs> yeah. Pointing left. Yeah, they put them. <laughs> I would have put them on backwards just to be silly. <laughs> <laughs> don't think you can make money off it. What did you say? Also like that show. Caitlin's parents would like to state for the record that despite claims in the media by representatives from Kentucky Kingdom Theme Park, at no time has any representative of the theme park been in touch with members of the family. Oh. That prompted Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom to release this statement. Representatives from Kentucky Kingdom traveled to the hospital immediately following the accident and were
were there for some time before the family requested that they leave. We are deeply saddened by this incident and, of course, have genuine concern for the well-being of the entire family. Uh, yeah, that means the lawyer was like, get him out of here. Exactly. Get him out of here. You're going to mess up the case. Don't screw up the case. We got a good one here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd lose a couple of feet for that type of money. Would you? pounds. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Deserve more than a thousand. I was, I was thinking, very good. I'm not saying it was a prior bit, but it was a short <laughs> Just on, on timing alone. That wasn't me laughing. It was his feet. <laughs> it just wasn't it good enough for that setup. That was the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dear Bob. He's already almost crushed his knees with that damn uh, thing. Now his feet are going to go in. <laughs> It's like a, I don't want to just tee a box. <laughs> yeah. It's like an avalanche onto a tent when he walks. <laughs> I can't just be bash Bob Day. You're right. Yeah, yeah let's I drop that. Bob and he turned on me. Uh, Bob, I had yeah. to do something, Jim. Bob looks hurt. <laughs> no, I'm good. Are you I'm hurt? Good. I'm liking it. I'm I liking think Jimmy it. was actually complimenting you when he said, I think you lost I some weight. I actually thought he did lose a few pounds. I might yeah. even... How would you think Go uh, Colin lost a few or gained a few? Colin looks the same. Colin looks the same, the same as he did the same last time as what? An elephant? No, he doesn't look any heavy. What was that? Even, no, the same even, as what he, an elephant was. He doesn't even have a receding <laughs> hairline. His head just got so fat. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty hurtful. That yeah. really wow. Cool. wow, there's no, wow. there's no need. For that. That's uncalled for from the really, from the Iranian fun. Kevin James. It really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fat Keith Sutherland. <laughs> oh, you want to go for the oldies? All right. All right, Margaret Show. <laughs> 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 and the worst thing is we can't even see each other's faces because right. this. I know. We're, so we're, just, we're not even looking at each other. We're so used to talking on the phone doing the same thing. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're I, used to this. I tell you, if I, sh if I let you listen to his, his voicemail message, I could actually have him brought up on charges. <laughs> 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 All right. We're going to break. Can we regroup here? Oh. Colin Quinn, Caroline's. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It's my yeah. final performance, Caroline. I'm retiring after this one. No. Oh, uh, yeah. Doubt that. No. Why? Uh, why? I got a lot of good things happening. A lot yeah. of good big things. Yeah. Why? Up for a writing job on Flight of the Concords. Jimmy said he'll speak to somebody for me. <laughs> yeah, he loves that yeah, show. I'm submitting sketch ideas. <laughs> funny, man. I love that show. They both look straight ahead. <laughs> That's ironic. They don't look at each other. That's crazy. That's ironic. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I mean, just two guys that communicate so naturally. <laughs> Very awkward. <laughs> Awkward's always funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll continue on this fine whip em out Wednesday. Woohoo! Oh, by the way, it's also Butt Rub Wednesday, and we forgot to mention that it's also Cat Noise Wednesday. What? What happens when Butt Rub one Wednesday? come from? Uh, hold on. Of course, that piped him up. We have to I rub butts with Eric. <laughs> what? Bear oh, butts. What? Bob, you want to do a butt rub with somebody? No, because no, my hair it. will get tangled in his hair. <laughs> I don't have hair. He doesn't have hair. No, no it's no. with it's with Jimmy. No, I'm Jimmy's the star no. of Butt Rub Wednesday. I don't like yeah. Jimmy's bum because it's always red in <laughs> like a baboon. Yeah, it's always got a red like circle near the. No, the, doesn't. The, well, because it's recently been swatted, probably. <laughs> it looks. Oh, yeah, exactly. Goes. It's always ugh. It's, <laughs> 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 it's like it looks like veal, like uncooked veal. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy can't just hang a normal moon. Uh, no, he's, he's got to grab his hands and oh, just wow. pull like it's taffy, like it's a taffy pull. Uh, Speaking of which, we went to uh, I forgot their names already. Uh, Eastside Dave and Casey's wedding. Yeah, yes. on the Ron and Fez show. Fun. And they had the camera on the table. Oh, oh my yeah. god! And you got so excited when I showed you the camera. You know, it, you know, they leave the camera on the, all the tables so people could take pictures of each other, and then they collect them up and they have wedding pictures of their guests. Yeah. So Jimmy saw the camera, got so excited, ran in the bathroom with uh, Keith the cop. Me what and happened? Keith the cop ran in, and uh, there's three great shots. Uh, two taken by me on the downward angle. Of uh, it's great. You can see like just say liquid. It's really yeah. Things are happening. And one Keith got of me. I pulled down my pants. And I bent over and just took both hands and went, yank! And, uh, <laughs> got an, an open yawn shot. <laughs> the colonoscopy. Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah. It looked like you were singing opera. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I'm good me, 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 me. I don't have to work anymore. They only expect one from me a day. <laughs> All right. Colin Quinn, Caroline's Bob Kelly doing our, our thing uh, Saturday, and we'll continue. Uh, with Cat Noise Wednesday. Ooh. Now? I think Colin should see like a little butt rub, though. It kind of bothers me. I really want uh, a butt rub to happen we with Colin Quinn. No. No, no he's still on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we're about to go off, then we go back. I know. It's so frustrating. He's like hanging out with Mickey Mantle in the old days. 
Are we off? Is this done? Can I get a beer? Where's my donut? Shut up. Keep That's it. Head. He wants to eat. Don't get greedy. We're doing good. Thanks. You're Jimmy, right. you're, be awesome. Jimmy's willing to do one more butt rub for everybody. Yeah, what, a, what is a butt rub? Why don't you get, just, just do it, I know. I can just get up and ass. pull what your if, pants down. What if you see E-Rock do it again uh, to like prove to, that I'd we're like doing this, the butt I'd, rub? E-Rock, butt rub. Come on. It's for Colin. Come on. It's for E-Rock. Can I do it for Colin? You did it earlier. No cameras. Just do it real fast. Just stare at Colin. on camera. No, E-Rock. Colin Quinn, big star. Just do it, E-Rock. E- e- Come I on, E-Rock. I want to Colin. I want e- to Colin. Stare in the face of our lovely young intern. Yeah. And just don't think about another uh, man. Think might, about a, a woman. She might have to leave. She's gorgeous. Why? Oh, she's an asshole. Why? Are you, are you cool with this? Jeez. All right. Let's Obi. See. No, she's cool. No, I mean. Good. It's just, no, she's all right, man. Trust me, the crap we have to deal I with know. behind oh, the scenes. Come on, E-Rock. Butt rub Wednesday. This is all it is, Bob. Butt. Butt There's rub. Jimmy's butt is out. Wait, wait, wait. Rocks is out, and then <laughs> that has to not. You didn't rub. Hey, you didn't rub. You, you didn't, didn't rub. rub. You touch. It's rub not it. a rock. I you saw you never rub. It's not butt touch. You guys, gotta be a rock. Right, wait, Lift wait. your shirt up. Uh, you guys, oh God, they rubbed. Butt. <laughs> I thought it was lovely. I was, <laughs> not only did we rub them, that was a charming moment. Actually. Not only did we rub them, <laughs> but I felt both cheeks pressed together. And, and then both separated slightly, and then we stopped. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> you opened your bum with another man's bum? I wouldn't say open, but both just went <laughs> like a little yawn. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. So what do you think, Bob? That's all it is. It's Butt yeah. Rub Wednesday. <laughs> it's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. And I've, awful. I was kissed on the neck by a priest. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, it's the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. I was kissed on the neck by a priest. <laughs> Bob got Bob telling that story. It actually got uh, good. All right, after the break. Good, right. good tease. Oh, good see? tease. Colin knows how to do radio. Yeah. yeah. Now everyone's going to sit Hey, there this is Eric and Kathy. See you in Master Brain. Oh, what a year. It's Opie and Anthony with, uh, with the whole uh, oh, part of the gang today. <laughs> I don't know where to begin. Do we go with uh, with uh, bitter Colin Quinn, or do we go with the story that that you teased about Bob Kelly? Um, it's up to Bob. Bob, I like that story, but if you don't want to tell it, I understand. Well, uh, but bitter Colin Quinn is pretty good. You're, well, bitterness just kind of permeates. I mean, I have no particular story. I was just trying to remark that I can't wait to, to see Evan Almighty this weekend. I really think they'll hit it out of the park this time. <laughs> Thank God I'm out of the loop comedically because I don't know. I can't make some of the messages that have been coming out. You know, you don't understand why that movie's so uh, so popular as far as the TV commercials going on. Oh, are you kidding me? There's a real there's a lot of little knee slappers going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would take more than a movie bombing for me to be happy at this point. <laughs> a lot of people would have to die <laughs> in a horrible... How about if at the premiere of Evan Almighty there was a fire at all entrances? Yes, that would be good. Oh. And they were blocked. Doors were blocked, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah no, people screw... Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, they all get out safely. Getting out safely in the... And that would be ironic because he plays Noah in the movie. And uh, oh. if you've seen the preview, you've seen the whole movie. They decided not to leave anything to the imagination for some reason. Well, with a movie <laughs> like that. Yeah, good point. Well, it makes leave. me laugh every time. Oh. Sure, it makes me laugh on um, movies on demand when they go, actually, it wouldn't be the first time you grant he slept with a clown. Wouldn't be the first time there's a clown in my bed. I want to see that uh-huh. one, but I want to wait till the kids are in bed because uh-huh. that's edgy. <laughs> Hugh Grant. Um, uh, just probably the best actor of it's our not, You know our what? It's time. not even just Hugh Grant, because Hugh Grant, I guess, you know, we like the fact that he got caught with a hooker, but just of what he represents, which is that whole Notting Hill horror, f- you know, this wacky best friend movie, and then the girl, and the, oh, just make, and then at the end, they always play that, uh, you know, so glad we may give me some loving, and everybody <laughs> runs around in a circle, and I'm trying to kill myself. I, I, I really am going to go on a rampage very shortly. I cannot <laughs> sit through, I have not sat through a, a, one of his movies they are so boring just the bore fest of him with that accent and his dry delivery on everything and to, uh, i like him when he's throwing a, like a canned ham at a paparazzi oh, you gotta <laughs> yeah. love that. the real yeah. hugh grant yeah, exactly. much better than the one on the, a, in the and, movies and Bob, the douche. do you have a story for us or are you that was actually hot beans he threw at him oh whatever yeah and a ham there was I think what happened to bob kelly thing? fat belly cam 
Oh, what did you do? Bob. What, did you see what that, you Bob? I got fat belly cam today. What's yeah. wrong? Bob everybody Kelly on fat belly cam. Well, fat you, belly cam. You should ask me. All right, I'm, not your, belly pet. Cam I'm not your pet redhead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Play along. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, well. I don't like that he's actually he keeps turning it back. That's what's creepy. <laughs> it's just it like, just keeps coming it's back. It's like you're loving fat belly cam on Pal Talk. Yeah. I feel like I'm in, I'm in like a sci-fi movie. <laughs> It's, I keep Does turning. Does it really it. require a special camera to catch his belly? <laughs> I would say yes. I would. How about like, just a nice long aerial shot of the room? I would love to take my shirt off and compare torso. I know you would, Vanessa oh. Manello. <laughs> See those nice brown nipples of yours? But... Oh. <laughs> Your blotchy fat tits. I would love to show everybody on Pal Talk. Uh, they no, just I, red and white like, and back to like, red. My tits look like Kirsten Dunst. Your, your tits. Your tits you look can't like. Say that. Oh, sorry. You're yeah, why don't you just let, let them thing. dump out to the last I'm 10 sorry. minutes of the show? I mean, yeah. hilarious well, stuff, but they're dumping out. Your, yeah, your, dumping uh, out. your uh, <laughs> pecs, can I say pecs? Yes. Well, your pecs look say like pectorals. They just, they just look like they ran a marathon. Why are you wow. manipulating? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Oh, yeah. That goes Holiday. He's on the track. He's at the wall. She's gone. The milkman delivered. No, what are they saying? <laughs> oh, that's a great one. <laughs> I love that one. That's our, that's our new one. Man. I love that one. I still like the hockey one the best. No, no. Oh my, I'm telling you something. How did that not go in? <laughs> that was a great. I, to, I like this one. Like, that goes Crispy looking up, and it's out of here. Or is it? No, it's off the wall. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not quite. Almost. I'll tell you the worst part of that awful joke was my polite... <laughs> <laughs> I'm disgusted at myself that I did that. All right, well, so hard for us to tell since you're always clearing some muci out of your throat. We can't tell if you're reacting or surviving. Because you underhooked your nozzles from the mothership. What? All right, what are you getting? Nozzles? Sometimes. <laughs> Does anybody remember last <laughs> Goodness gracious! I'm going home. I made an ass Ooh. of myself. All right, with the buttons. Ooh, I'm sorry, I did that. I'll tell you. All right. I'm embarrassed buttons. that I did that. Voss must fear this show with those kind of funny uh, burns. <laughs> Every third one of Voss's dies like that. <laughs> what was that? That was a woman falling off stage. stage she stage oh, dive. She staged, right, well, oh, yeah, she went to, she, to stage dive, and uh, no one was there to catch her. And the, uh, I swear, and that's this is the sound. I want to hear the story. <laughs> hold on, hold on. you got to hear with the music, though. She's rocking. The music And then decides so bad. at the end of the song to jump off the stage. Listen to this. She's hot, though. The music is awful. <laughs> it's, worth, it's worth waiting for. The most horrifying part is that music sounds like like Hillary Duff being raped by Akon. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Hillary Duff being seduced by Akon is what I meant. <laughs> wow, seduced. that's even worse in some way, isn't it? It's more offensive. We apologize for bitter, bitter Colin. I take it back. Hey, what about uh, this story? Are we going with the story or no? Yeah, I want to hear. Bob, Colin well, T. Some up. kind of story. I don't know if you should tell the story now in light of the new climate. Yeah, that's all I was worried about. The new climate. Bob is just manipulating himself. You know what I'm saying, Robert? Like, your, your hand. I'm just watching you on um, uh, Bob <laughs> Kelly <laughs> fat belly cam. <laughs> and that's kind of creepy that you're doing that. And you're like. <laughs> Those. Your hand is in your lap, and and your thumb yeah. and and the rest of your fingers are making this grip, grip, grip movement. Yeah. I don't understand well, what you're doing in that no, seat. They're mine. He's like, I, I want you to mind your business. He's like, I, he's like <laughs> how's that sound? That, that that pal talk cam isn't for you. It's for the losers and cubes right now that need something to do and they want to look at my fat stomach. So I'm giving a little extra right now. Oh, we got a little zoom. It's like, it's like watching one of the stars of the show. Hong Kong casino manager. <laughs> hey, what? what? Mr. Bob, they're hitting on 16. I think they're card counting. <laughs> I'm all for card counting. You are? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, of course. How can they make that illegal? It's legal. It I want to know the story. If you, if you I don't know if we should. Uh, honestly, you should wait to the break in light of yeah. Well, culture. it'll be gone by then. There's no more. Yeah. Is it a good can, story, Bob? start slowly. What about the 10 no, o'clock? It wasn't even. I mean, Colin has a better story than me, for God's sake. What is yours? But yours is just more. What you told me happened last week is in the paper. 
No, he's not. He, oh what, my no, God. what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> all right, here's what happened. Story? Iraq had it up quick. Right. Iraq had uh, a zoom in. Hold on, hold on. There's too much going on. Sorry, I just got to say, Iraq just zoomed in more on Bob Kelly's belly, and I swear I just saw Porkin's ship crash into it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you're lucky Opie saved you right at the end of that. <laughs> Every friggin' Star Wars fan is laughing. Look, I'm getting LOLs there. Uh, see? Up the yin yang. The gates yang. are laughing at him. Star Wars reference. Uh, it's I, a Star uh, Wars I reference. I had a lightsaber. I'd cut your feet off. What's I was light- saying that What's your light belly saber? is as big as a, a lightsaber. <laughs> I called it a is lightsaber. That, no, no, no. I meant the candy that you get. <laughs> a lightsaber. <laughs> I meant the candy. Oh, my God. fun filled candy. You know oh, what I didn't have to throw it really hard. <laughs> Remove the feet. I was just <laughs> implying that his belly looked like the Death Star. A lightsaver. <laughs> a lightsaver. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. I get it. <laughs> you can... I, I, I tried. I, I swung and missed, man. All right. Yeah. What, uh... All right what's the story? God, what are you doing? I want to hear the story. <laughs> why are you standing why up? Are you, why are you putting you your hands in your pocket? Oh, yeah. God, I say priest, and you all of a sudden start putting your hands in your I pocket. I want to hear the story. All right. Not that I did. Right, here uh, we go. I had to call and set it up. A priest once kissed him on the neck, so then... You Jesus, know, just, do you have to jump right after you? Well, no, up. I'm saying a setup. There's a story Robert, before what let happened. Me Bob. Okay, yes. Let <laughs> the expert calls me Bob. Talk. Yeah, calls me Bob I shut up. Let, let the expert me, talk. Yes. Go ahead. Um, there's confidence in it. Long voice. story short, whatever happened, he ended up getting kissed in the neck by a priest who he knew through a very situation. And then he told me last week that same priest, you know, who he'd like given confession with, was uh, in the news, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was caught up in that stuff a few years ago in Beantown. Oh, oh, that stuff? From Lester. Yeah. Was it one of the big ones? Because Bob was one of the most yeah. beautiful boys. If you ever saw him when he was, was younger, he was lovely. Yeah, I was, around, I was actually around 22. He had a, <laughs> actually in my beautiful days. He had a six-pack, a washboard stuff. Bob wait, was wait. a good-looking guy. And a mullet. Let, you and let a, a priest kiss you on the neck at 22? Yeah. yeah, I let him. At 22? At 22? No, I was actually doing something. I can understand 12, Let me, let me, let me set it up. Bob, it was an intimate up. moment, and he ended up at the end, the guy hugs him, but then Bob just thinks he's hugging the priest because it's like a yeah. moment. Nice. Kiss him on the neck. And Bob was a very beautiful boy, as you know. Okay. I actually was doing something like almost like, you know, con- a confessional type thing. You know. Yes. Like, you know. I was confessing certain things, and it was like a big moment. Because, you know, I was... You I, made it I sound got, like you deserved it now. I got out of juvie yeah, hall. I got out of juvie hall and that all was this. The, that was the government's first all mistake. All like a spiritual wait, cleansing in a way, wait, just kind of whatever. Confession is good for the soul. <laughs> right. So I'm sitting there with him and, you know, first of all, we're sitting there for like an hour and a half. And in the middle of me purging the deepest, darkest secrets I had, I look, he's snoring. I look over, he actually snores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's what really happens. They don't give a crap. I was almost in tears, like, this is really hard. For, and I looked. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me, you know, Father. And he was like, oh, yes, yes. He yes. figures, why, does, why I, do I have to listen? God's yeah, listening yeah, to this to stuff. Get to the stuff. Yeah, I don't need to listen to this. <laughs> and uh, we were there for like, oh, well, it was almost two hours. And it was like, okay. It was like this really big moment for me. And we stood up. And he went to, you know, give me a nice hug. And right at the last second, we're hugging. And I felt it. I felt his hand. You know when you hug a guy, it's like you hug and it's done. Yeah. His hand kind of moved, like it kind of ah uh, squeezed. Where? It kind of squeezed a little bit. It like lifted and then went back on. Where? Wait, can you on do my it back. To, do it to Jimmy. Back. No, why not? Oh. All right. What? <laughs> right, it has to be shown. He rocks. Yeah, Jimmy do it to there. Jimmy. All right, so. And here you go. It was almost like this. <laughs> <Jimmy> <laughs> <in the front. laughs> okay, there was the hug. And then what? This was the hug. All right. I'm, All right. So far, so far, it's a, it's a guy hug. Hang on. This, I, I'm being the priest and yeah. Jimmy's being We understand that. I can't believe All right. you actually you explained that stupid. Yeah. yeah, to the people that can't see. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, but Opie just said that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, we're on the radio, you moron. This isn't live television. All right, so you explaining right. it is really going to make it three years ago. Standard. All right. It's let's over. Go. All right. Let's go. <laughs> and then he, and then he kind of like caressed your back a little yeah, bit. He did this, and, then right. <laughs> and we're still hugging. Right. <laughs> Hang on. I'm not supposed to get turned on. I don't want to get. No, I'm not going to kiss. I'm not going to get the kiss. My <laughs> ass is out. Right. His ass was without, hanging out. The time is doing a man hug. Honest to God, that is probably one of the softest bums I've oh, ever felt in my life. But then he what? He then needed like kind of like a cat. No, we were we were there just like probably around. Uh, three minutes too long, the hug was. Can I say something? <laughs> three minutes. Can I say one thing that's been bothering me the whole time. show? Yeah. Is when Madonna the says mirror? bum instead of butt. 
Listen to English accents. Because I would saying bum. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear it. I, it we're because, not in England. I, because not... I, I messed up before and I said the. Uh, you could oh. say ass. I know, but I don't. I, I I'd rather pull way back and then you know loosen right. up a little bit. Uh. I got a little carried so away wait, myself. So how long did you hug this guy for, really? Uh, well, it was probably like it was a while, man. It was a good like it was a like a two hour emotional like spiritual moment. Were you crying? Uh, no. So and he was hugging you for b- more than three thirty minutes. seconds of hugging. Oh yeah, more. And than then he was seconds. kneading your back with his fingers a little bit, and oh. then he kissed you on the neck, and then he like kissed he was, you on the neck. Was it what kind well, of kiss he, was it? It was a very soft Ugh. south. Did he just, feel whiskers? Uh, no, but he really didn't have. You know, he had those priest lips with a real thin, kind of like Jimmy's lips. <laughs> You know what priestly? How old was priestly? He knows what priestly. Typical You know that Irish Catholic lip. There's no yeah. lip, and they smile. It's just gums and teeth. <laughs> How old was he? Uh, he was old, gray hair, man. Who's an old priest? Yeah. Gray on? pubes. Was I turned on? No. I immediately, it would, the two hours of spiritual cleansing immediately got thrown in the toilet. Why? Because he just you? kissed me on the the neck like like the when first girl I was ever with. you say the toilet, Jim doesn't look at that as a negative. Absolutely. <laughs> you have a clear liquid on your thigh. Oh, for heaven's sake. All right. We got to go. There's our music. Norton obviously. actually, I mean, Colin was actually... Uh, he cuddled and spoon. All right, we'll priest. talk about that next. Yes, yeah, on that's XM, XM material. <laughs> Sorry. We're going over to XM. Yeah. Thanks to the ladies on Pal Talk that have been wowing all morning. We got Colin Quinn in the studio. He's going to go over to the other side with us. He's playing Caroline's here in New York City all weekend long, starting tomorrow night, Colin. Go Damn see right. Colin. Very Colin funny man. killed on this side of the show today. Very funny man, Colin Quinn. side of the show we don't know about. Well, right, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Bye. Guys, thanks for your... Yeah, th- uh, thanks. For whatever. We'll uh, see you uh, see tomorrow you. if you're not joining us over there. there. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 A couple of minutes. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 All right. <laughs> we are live. Colin Quinn in studio today playing Caroline's in New York City all weekend long. Bob Kelly laying on the couch. Are you tuckered out? No, I just I didn't realize how comfortable this was. He's being comfy. Uh, why be uncomfortable? He no. can move the mic down, so he's laying down. You call it comfy. We call it homoerotic. Actually, <laughs> what Norton is going on over there? Norton, Norton's Norton ordering. Just... Hey, you guys, does Norton? All right, you go. Flint, does he give you a couple of bucks? Yeah, you go. You do. Oh, and uh, Jimmy's in the bathroom, so. All right, turn down the rage. We're about to broadcast again. He's making room for uh, a smoothie. Apparently, the smoothie thing that goes so smooth, if I may say, when Kenny's here, yeah. is a complete catastrophe when Kenny is not here. Just getting a smoothie, the act of getting a smoothie is so complicated that uh, papers are needed, pens, interns, money is, is ex- exchanged. Kenny is so efficient. And, yes. And still, to this day... XM doesn't understand that. I don't know why. I don't either. I don't know why. He does the job very, very well. I gave him a few uh, tasks on the way in today, and Jimmy has seen he this. tasks me. You probably have seen this uh, by this point, too. Yeah. I gave him a bunch of, like, paperwork. There were a couple things I needed mailed and something I needed FedEx. Just just dumb little things, right? And I give him the pile of this messy paper and envelopes and stuff, and all of a sudden, he has to hold it with his thumb in his left hand as he drives into work. I'm like, dude... I'll just hold it until you get to work. He goes, no, that's okay. I got it, G.H. But it's obviously some weird OCD thing because I'm like, no, thing. I'm like, no, really, yeah. that you look like you're uncomfortable. I can obviously hold it. We're in a car until you, we get to work. He goes, no, and he insisted, well, and and it wasn't about being a bother or anything. It had something to do with his OCD mind. He's a psychopath. He will drive to gigs and literally we'll have two hours to go. We'll have to go down to exit two on the turnpike. We, we we get out of the out of the Lincoln Tunnel. It's exit like 15E, and he's holding this in his left hand, and the, and the paper's bent because of his giant chimp thumb pushing in. He doesn't know his own strength, and he'll just keep looking down. I'm like, what are you looking at, dude? It's exit 15. We, we have another know. 140 miles. On this road. <laughs> Do you think that exit two is gonna pop up in a half mile? You drive home this way every right, day, you idiot. Right. It has no... Out of his mind. What an, exit just passed? It's an OCD thing. He was squeezing with his thumb the uh, the pile of papers I gave him. And I see him looking down and then looking at the road. Looking down, I'm like, would you stop looking down? Oh, my God. Why are you springing for MapQuest? Yeah. And, and then he Map can't... MapQuest? What a nav system. Then he can't wait to move his thumb down when that direction is over with, so yeah. he's got the new one. Yeah. The next step. <laughs> right. 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 He goes from <laughs> step to step with that, that huge thumb of his. He does MapQuest. That's what he does. He prints it out with his stupid <laughs> color printer. <laughs> 
He really does. Not to spring for it either. It's free, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> spring for it. What are you old what are you man saying? trying to talk about the internet? Shut hey, up. He, he's talking about it, it, GPS. We have now. That's what you can buy. Put Colin's putting quarters in the vents to the monitor. <laughs> 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 spring from MacQuest. <Matt> <laughs> That's a good point, Bob. <laughs> good point. All right. Uh, let's see how to John in New York. John, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Oh, someone's got to cover up this button. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Just in case. Ah. That's what uh, K Rock in New York City is playing. That's it. That's what we off the air. We're in the same studio, but this is what they're doing. But I think we're now live on K Rock. No, we're talking through the song right now. Yeah, you hear us? Yeah, that's how close we are to getting fired because of some. No, that's not how that button works. All right. Uh, no. Way to get a wow. bit, you asshole. Oh, sorry. Wow. Jesus Christ. Hey, ho, it's on K Rock. Way to blow up my spot. I know. I was oh. making a bit. Steve and Than run in panicking. That's not how it works. No, it's fine. I will I will have to, as much as I hate to, I will have to defend Than because I don't think he really thought that you were worried and he was trying to comfort you. Well, it's my acting. It's he getting didn't better. Know that, though. Well, I got good acting. You can't be mad at him because you're a good actor. Does he know? He's just, just dumb. All right, Look at I him. apologize. And, and I should apologize. Mr. Get... Fabersham, this button needs to be covered. <laughs> needs to be covered. Uh, uh, I, I you. Should... Big, tall, retarded Kevin Costner bumbled in. <laughs> You're okay, boss. <laughs> I do have to apologize, too, because he can kick my teeth out oh, without even can. trying. So. From there, a little spinning back kick. He's Let's be honest with each other here. I'll tell you what word you misspelled. <laughs> Why, is, is he a martial artist? Is that because oh, yes. boy, yeah. his Vietnamese last name? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's in the, well, it's Nathaniel, and they call him Than. Oh. We haven't been able to really figure that out yet. He looks like an eight, like an 18th century painting. Hell, <laughs> 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 he like, when, when when fucking when when Jay Moore said he looked like John Olerud. <laughs> <laughs> he also said he looks like C three PO. I guess an old John Olerud joke, but I really had a good laugh at John Nathaniel's Olerud. expense. Olerud, wow. C three PO, man. That was right, old Jay I, Moore. I apologize. I was just going for a little. Quick bit and I, I believed you actually. I, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did because I, I like. I don't think that's right, but I didn't know. I'm moving. I on. believed you too. I'm moving on from this radio thing. The acting is is getting better. Well, it's ah. fantastic. Yeah. If you want, I can speak to. Uh, are they going to do cheaper by the dozen three? <laughs> <laughs> have some connections. <laughs> Be the youngest son, all grown up. I want to see Greg Almighty. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> I want to see him in an action movie. Yeah. Yeah, like you're you're the tough cop. Put a little dirt no, on it. We got face. David Caruso doing all that crap already. Oh, no, Frank. No. You're younger than him. Let's do like an Opie and Anthony movie. Yeah, that's oh, what we no, want. You guys have to fight. Well, a I have a buddy great. movie where we what? A buddy movie where you have to find, uh, let's say Norton has AIDS, and you have to find the antidote by the end of the movie. <laughs> the <laughs> antidote for AIDS? Is this a documentary? Boy, that's going to be a boring movie. It's going to be two hours of Ant and I just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> it's like no, a radio Jim, show. No. No. Going away. As Jimmy loses How weight by, this? The, by the minute. <laughs> It's like the, it's a combination of that, an action movie and the Omen. We try to figure out, you know, the liver spots on Norton's head. We try to figure. We try to find a scratch off. It's like a scratch off lotto game. And if there's a six, you, six six underneath, you win. Yes. And you guess you have people, real fans of, of Norton, come up and like try to scratch off his head. <laughs> that was kind of hurtful. Jimmy. Stick a, GP, hurtful. A, hurtful. a GPS tag on him and follow him around the ocean for a month. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't get what you say. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, uh, John in New York, what's up? Oh, wait. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hey there, Jan. Hey, John. All right. Wanted to hey. thank you guys for bringing back the Tuesday Night Hummer Club. It was a proud member initiated last night. Oh, very oh. nice. Who's the other I guy? It was. <laughs> I did a little 69 in as well. And all because of the radio show, right? That's right. I told her about it. It was very good. She was I don't know why we didn't bring back it's Hummer a great Tuesday. way to break sooner. the ice. Hummer yeah. Tuesday is back. Thanks, guys. So we realized days of the week with, yeah. on radio, you have to have something for every day. And some shows just have one thing for for a day. We're trying to pile on things so every day we have three, four, five things for one day. Yeah. What's our biggest day? Well, I Wednesday. Mean, Wednesday. Whip him out Wednesday and butt rub Wednesday. Butt rub Wednesday. But, but then Jimmy, you know, he started something that's really not taking off. What is it? Cat noise Wednesday. I'm Cat noise gone. Wednesday could that? fall by the wayside. It shouldn't. As I expect what is phone it? call Thursday, too. <laughs> I think what we drop phone call Wednesday? Thursday tomorrow. What? What is Cat noise Wednesday? Ask, ask the freaking inventor. What is it, Norton? I don't remember. 
You just make a cat noise. Oh. That sounds like something him and his girlfriend giggled at one night, and she said, do it, and he was too gutless to say no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We've all been in that situation. <laughs> all right, Colin. You hurt the whole room. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing really hard. Go, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy, would you like to do your cat noise for Colin? I don't, I don't remember it, but I don't like the fact that Fat Squee just made fun of me. <laughs> that was rather hurt. <laughs> yeah, don't get mad at us because we all have girlfriends, you lonely bastard. <laughs> um, I don't remember Cat Noise uh, Wednesday. You made it up. Oh, that was it. No, but you yeah. had a nice cat noise. I think you were doing the angry cat. Meow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was that. That's my bitch. Oh, it's very you angry. Be on, you should be on Eric and Kathy with that. <laughs> what? No, but no, that was good. People were like, no, it's like not. I heard cats. <laughs> yeah. I had some other ones, Oh, too. gosh, Jimmy. What else did I have? Oh, I had another one, too. See, How about Wednesday. Death Rattle Jim Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> Where we hear your death rattle and you die. Well, Cat Noise Wednesday yeah. just not taking off. We might, have to, we might have to scratch Horrendous. it off the list. We'll, we'll think oh, about it next Wednesday. I kind of liked it. It scared yeah, me. Yeah, there was also there was Water Shake Wednesday. That was supposed to be a big one. What's that? What was that? <laughs> just shakes his water. <laughs> yeah, I guess like the whole country will do it. Say, All right, go. And everybody's riding around. That's like how you show solidarity for the radio. And we wonder why Colin Gwynn is bitter. Thursday. Yeah, what? exactly. And we wonder why you're bitter, when, Colin. When Water Shake Wednesday is going to be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you to drown in your own blood tonight, Jimmy. <laughs> Anything I can do to facilitate that, please tell me. Sit on my chest, fatso. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. Save that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dan is pointing out that tomorrow is a very busy show. We got Fun Fact Thursday. Fun Fact Thursday. We got Phone Call Thursday. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you, phone uh, Call Thursday. You're missing one. Know. That was mine, by the way. You're missing my invention that uh, that's taking off. Also, Perv News tomorrow. Oh, I know which one. Perv News Thursday and... Camel Toe Thursday. Thank you. Camel but, Toe Thursday. That's only male Camel Toe. Male Camel oh. Toe Thursday. <laughs> you got to pull your pants up real tight <laughs> and wear sweatpants and put uh, one ball on each side. And that's it looks like hilarious. you got this big, flat Camel Toe. So wear your sweats tomorrow, yeah. uh, boys. Everyone wear your sweats because it's Camel Toe Thursday. <laughs> the star of Camel Toe Thursday was Nathaniel because it looked yeah. like he had a meat lasso on his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. Yeah, it was that all boy does have a cock. Oh, he wrecked it for everybody. We're all having fun, and then it was his turn. It's like, oh, God. He has a big piece. Uh, yeah, I, I he's got something really, going he's, on. He's, he's not all ball. He's 6'5"? Yeah, 6'4". I saw, the, I saw the head. It was somewhere It was somewhere like down by mid-thigh. It was really bothersome. <laughs> Could you stick a quarter in his hole? <laughs> I couldn't see that. He wasn't wearing fucking like white sailor pants. He was wearing jeans. <laughs> Stick a quarter in his hole. <laughs> you ever see those fucking big open piss slits? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, I say piss slit Tuesday. <laughs> We're like, we open up someone's piss slit and we go, <laughs> and you lick inside of it. But you put vinegar on your tongue. So it's uncomfortable for both of you on some level. Dude, the, the, ah. the pictures that are up on opianthony.com of us doing the camel toes. Are disturbing. Yeah, there's Jimmy doing one, but it's from the side a little bit. You need the front. Yeah, but front look at the view. face we're all making. Yeah, all <laughs> we're all creeped out. It's all happy. Everyone's having yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah. And did you do one yet? No, I haven't done one because my pants are too tight. Why is there only one? That's picture? perfect. No, you need looser like sweatpants. <laughs> look at how creepy that looks. Ope was fucking. Ope had just a big taffy bag mush. <laughs> 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 All right, well, let's say hi to James, the trucker. James? Hey, James. Hey. hey. How y'all doing, man? Jimmy, I can't hi. let them throw underneath the bus, man. Just for you, uh, from all the truckers, is a big old and a... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, why do they always stick up for Jimmy? Because they know Cat uh, Noise Wednesday. Cat is, Noise is Wednesday a hit blows, and it's a ratings grabber. I like it. Don't do this to Jimmy. You Cat know, we gotta Wednesday. load. The, we gotta load the days up, but then slowly cull back some of the ones yeah. that aren't working. No. Hey, uh, and Jimmy Fallon's on Regis. He was just on our show. I yeah. wonder if this is the Scissor Sisters show. Oh, the Scissor Sisters. Scissor Sisters. This is um, a repeat. He's in best of. Remember when we were talking about how uh, Regis looked good yesterday? Yeah, yeah. It was a rerun. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So you're a big fan of the Scissor Sisters. And they turn out to be like gay gentlemen. How big is Fallon? Jeez, he's a big dude compared to that. No, Regis is tiny. Oh, is he a twerp? Yeah. Is uh, Regis small? Really small. Diminutive. Uh, and very miserable when he's not on TV. Yeah. I'm a little leprechaun. Or looks miserable, I should say. 
Uh, mm. Alex from O Town. Bring it on, brother. O Town. Hey, Don't up, make Orlando to try my, to sound uh, my tough. Cat noise. Huh? I wanted to give you my cat noise, gentlemen. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> That's I think I he just, like, squeezed his cat. Did you no, ever squeeze a, a cat? That was a duck. Wow. That wasn't bad. I think he threw his cat into the dryer for that one. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that all the time. That sounded pretty good. And now they're just typing out meow on instant feedback. Why do they always have to stick up for Jimmy? Because cat I, noise Wednesday. Jimmy can't do no wrong with these guys. I do a tremendous, have you ever read message boards? I do a tremendous amount of wrong. But cat, <laughs> cat, noise, <laughs> cat noise Wednesdays is a hit. We all know it. So it you is can a, make it any is a cat hit. noise. You can be a... <laughs> There you go. Welcome to the club. That's Thanks. her. I like the fact that Colin is trying to have dignity and not be. I'm not having dignity. I'm so disgusted by cat noise one day. Thank you, Colin. You I'm, I'm with really you. Am. you. I'm with get Colin. Cat noise I get it. It's fake irony. Shut no, up. Now it's not. Be... <laughs> um, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> cat noise Wednesday. Shut your trapper. Everyone likes uh, it. Should we make like t-shirts? That's when you know you got a hit on your hand. Bumper stickers. Yes. Only. Uh, no, it's not irony. Only whip them out Wednesday has has a shirt. See monkey. <laughs> Jimmy, well, any Jimmy idea is printed on a T-shirt eventually. Yeah. Sure. I've not seen one catchphrase or anything else that you've said that isn't on a goddamn T-shirt being sold by that stupid fat fucking limey. You're British. Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, it was. Uh, you could tell the you could tell the limey that he doesn't need a backup uh, eighteen wheeler for Jimmy's merchandise. By the way, yeah, there weren't enough people in the venue to buy all the stuff he brought. Yeah, Paul brings a lot of my stuff up. I can't. Oh my god, there was like. There was like Teamsters unloading Jimmy's oh, merchandise. Amazing. That was neat. What if the old ladies that have to print no. his the old ladies that have to print his T-shirts are just like disgusted? One company wouldn't do it. Really? Slip in a puddle of AIDS? Yeah, they wouldn't print that. And there was another rape one. They were like, no. Huh. Why? I don't know. Well, they didn't they object to it? Let's go to Wade in uh, <laughs> MN is uh, Minnesota, I believe. Hey Wade. Hey Wade, what's up? Hey guys, love you. Hey, love those you are some sweet numbers. Yeah, yeah. Right. Far go. Go for a game. Mm. Hey, you'd like to do the uh, Roland, uh, the Roland uh, meow cat cat noise. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah. Um, meow. Wait, meow. Meow. Roland cat. See, he's kind of combining Roland with a cat. Boring. <laughs> Jimmy, how is that a slam on me when it obviously trashed the show? What? Shut up! No, no, no! I was, Drop I was, cat noise right now. I was yes. pointing at you and laughing because it was a, it was a joy that the thing. I know, but I was trying to tell you it was ruining the show. But it's no, it's not. It now. What do you want, Colin? Cookie eating Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> oh, from anyone else, that might be amusing. <laughs> Tub a lot. <laughs> hey, uh, Redding's got a great idea. Opie, you need to get back at Jimmy for cat noise Wednesday with dog noise Thursday. Now nah, that's the same thing. It's, oh. it's too many animal noise. We're gonna be too stupid. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby yeah, should be wearing a fez things. right now. Huh? Okay. Bobby should be wearing a fez. <laughs> what is a fez? <laughs> a little like red a, a a little hat with a with um, a. They wear them in Morocco. <laughs> those <laughs> wacky <laughs> hats. There's a little tassel on it, like when yeah. you graduate high school. <laughs> fez. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. Oh, that's great. Uh, hey, uh, let's they say wear it. masks and things on their head. It's crazy. They're like a bunch of crazy people. A bunch of crazy uh, people. What? You know, you came by. I took a bunch of pills to get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that last night. The way he's oh, holding his robe. Oh, you, you, you die. You're not dying. You're killing everyone around you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> taking a lot of phone calls today. See it's you not in your Thursday. dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Leon Shermer. He, Leon. Actually, he actually got his operation and then died of AIDS. Uh, the Leon from Dog Day After. His real name was not Leon. I forget what his real name was. But he did die of yeah. AIDS. Uh, yeah, mm. recently, actually, about four years ago. But he was. He was. Uh, he played Dracula. Yes, Chris Sarandon in the movie did. I mean, the real guy. Oh, the real. Oh, guy. that was Chris Sarandon in yes, the movie. Was. I didn't know that. Yes. Wow. You're Jimmy saying Chris Sarandon afternoon. died of AIDS. Oh no. You're saying that? No. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's say hi to Tony. Tony. Hey, what's going on? I, hey. I want to know if Anthony did Love Bug this morning before he left the house. Of course. <laughs> I do Love Bug uh, every morning with my well, sweetie. Well, I give a little Love Bug. What's a Love Bug? Love Bug. It's a little almost like a handshake. 
It's our little secret uh, love bug handshake. Not secret anymore. See, yeah, everyone knows you do the love bug. You know, uh, in Hawaii they do like the love thing. The hang it's the, almost the the heavy metal rock hang loose. horns the thing. Pointer hang the pointer and the pinky point straight up. Yeah, yeah, but it's a you know I love you thing. And then we, we you take the fingers that are bent toward your palm and interlock them, and then grab these around there, and and, and then you go. I'll see you later, baby. Kind of like uh, the brothers used to do with the old handshake. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Only you know. Oh, that's cute. I do re so, I do retard different. kisses. Do you? Yeah, we both see. Like, I know you. I love oh you too. And then we oh. put our teeth like tongue, like our mouths don't close. Really? And then we try to kiss. But that's not at all cute or romantic. If you or think retards are cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's is the worst. What, what? Me, me. Oh, you better tell Colin. Me, me. What do you do? What? Your hero's in the room with me, me. You. His girlfriend you got, tell him. His girlfriend got a little mad that yeah. he let this one out. Why don't out. you tell Colin? Go ahead. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Occasionally. <laughs> 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 if she wants a kiss, she'll go, me, me. And then I'll go, me, me, and kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most horrendous thing I've ever <laughs> Me, me. Like a truck backing up sound? Like, me, me. Well, no, no, not quite like that to find. But sometimes it's strange. Like, me, me. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we meet and we kiss. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Colin just goes, oh. <laughs> I do the vacuum. See what you're missing, Colin? Yeah. Yeah. What? You just go, and then she, she, I suck her over to me, and then we kiss. <laughs> oh, my God. You do the same thing at the dinner table, don't you? <laughs> With a rope. <laughs> oh, I was going to go for a priest cock joke, but dinner table is better. Uh, well, touche, fatso. Uh, uh, let's go to D. And <laughs> D well, sees a piece of tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother's cutlery is it's, it's like when the plane got the whole shot in it in Goldfinger. <laughs> this is just a foot hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, D, Louisiana. You're on the Opie and Anthony program. No. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's all we right. We have an employee that comes to our clinic, uh, our office, once a month to kind of observe, and uh, we, we nicknamed her CT for camel toe. Um, cause, you know, you shouldn't wear scrubs that too tight. Uh, you know, one size does not fit all. But anyway, she, um, we, I know we're going to get busted one day because we always say, um, Y'all hear that cat screaming like somebody's choking it, and we'll start making cat noise. Like you know, it's like, <laughs> and uh, oh, it's bad. Wait, now what does the girl look? Because camel oh. toe can be really sexy or disgusting. Well, what oh, does she look like? like? She's got scrubs on, like so it's gotta be. Is she fat? Like that? Yeah, it's like the apron belly, so it's like the camel toe <laughs> all the way up the belly. Oh, she's a fat lady. Yeah. Oh, uh, yuck! Fat she, camel toe is awful. Are you sure she mm. wasn't stabbed? Well, oh, I'll why, ask her. Why, why? Why take the sexiness out of it? <laughs> you know what is really good? Back camel toe. It's when women are real fat and they have dual ass. They have their big fat ass from their hips, but then in the middle... There's this mini ass <laughs> that, like, is is right there by uh. the asshole, and it's the size of, like, you know, like a 10-year-old's ass, but it's slammed in the middle of this big fat ass. <laughs> My favorite is extra long uh, butt crack. Yeah. Extra long uh, butt usually, crack. Usually, usually fat girls that have a flat ass, but their their yeah, the yeah. crack goes all the way up to their waistline. Yeah, very very long butt crack. Yeah. How about the girls with like two or three uh, assholes? You ever see that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That was big in like the eighties. Some girl would have like two or three butt. You know, it was really weird. I mean, I, I think it was just a. I think it was probably a fissure that turned into an ass. Yeah, a fissure, an anal fissure. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it what you were talking about earlier? Like, you watch a fucking porno or look at through a, 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 one of those uh, real hardcore porn magazines that show fucking and blowjobs and shit. And some guy's dick hole goes from, like, the underside of their dick all the way up to the top. It's just good. Yeah, it's like, what happened? It's a huge dick hole. It's like they pee. It's just like... <laughs> Chowder pouring out of their cocks. It's just a guy that had to get rid of kidney stones. Ugh. What do you mean? Oh, no. is this? 
Know. Like it goes from the underside all the way up to the top. Yeah, like their pee hole doesn't close. It's always open. Yeah, this big red fucking... Yeah, it looks like an eye socket. <laughs> <laughs> it's always singing opera. <laughs> <It's an eye laughs> socket. After Arnold pulled the fucking eye out in the original Terminator. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, there's always a little bit of blood on it. <laughs> 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 My pee hole closes. It like shuts. Well, it's airtight. Yeah, it's like a little. It sure. shuts, but I want it to be watertight. <laughs> uh, Bob pub. killed here last weekend. Ah, eh, whatever. Let's say hi to Peter Ooh. in Massachusetts. <laughs> Peter, what's up? What the fuck what kind of uh, sabotage yeah. are you? <laughs> what fucking, where did he kill? <laughs> fucking Peter. No, uh, we blew off that call. And went to Peter. What's up, Peter? You ever see those chicks where the pants are too tight and their stomachs hanging over the top? You know what that's called? Huh. Muffin, mu muffin top. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the muffin top, muffin sure. Top. A little too much of the ass meat, uh, you know, popping out there on the top. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't always have to follow Jimmy's lead. The more you say no, the more you're going to do it. Oh, of course. I know. That's my part in this bit. Thanks, Colin. Well, how about this? <laughs> my part in this bit is this. Hold on. So midget sighting of the day. No. You're going to interrupt a midget sighting. So saw that coming. Oh, is it really midget sighting or that's just... Yes. Yeah. We don't fool around about that. No. Wait, don't worry. This bit works perfectly, too, because we go right back to you. Okay. You'll see. You'll All see right. the beauty of the show in a second here. Uh, wow, who saw this coming? It's Chris in Kentucky. Chris, what's up? Yeah, what's up, guys? I was sitting out at the Walmart parking lot, and this big F-350 pulls up, and I uh, look who's driving it. It's this little midget-looking, dwarf-looking <laughs> guy. He, pull, he jumps out, and it's like... He, he it looks like he almost fell to the ground and fell bad. And I looked over, and uh, the guy coming out of the other side is, uh, I guess, his little, his little uh, worker buddy or whatever. And I was just staring and kind of watching him. And uh, he grabs one of the carts and starts uh, riding it up like a little kid would do. <laughs> 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 and then I uh, saw him walking out, and he did the same thing. That's adorable. Yeah, we like uh, midget sightings there, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it there, Chris? They're the cutest. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Meanwhile, back at the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that seamless production value. <laughs> We're ready for Steven Spielberg, aren't we? <laughs> it's got my resume. Wonderful. <laughs> what yeah. are you saying, Colin? Nothing. Yeah. I'm just thinking about writing my Opie and Anthony movie. Can All right. Yeah. Can we put Big A in it? Oh, yeah. He'd have to be. We Maybe he's a villain. He should be a villain. Yeah, a villain. He is a, he's an unknowing villain. He, he doesn't really even he's know. Like, yeah, he's like, no, tell me about the rabbit's George guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's killed thousands by accident. Yeah. <laughs> he blacks out when he's driving his cab, and then suddenly he's in Van Cortlandt Park <laughs> with blood on his hands, and he's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He just picks up prostitutes to pet their hair. <laughs> yes. And they're dead. Carried away when they scream because he pulled. Choked. Their heads are backwards. Looking at that, that sick, glazed over eyeball staring. And then you look down and just see her yeah. shoulder blades. And he's just yelling at them like they're his mother. And he has right. ejaculate in his pants. Why did, you, why did you make me sleep in the basement? I wasn't going to bother my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, Spike in Nevada. Spike. Spike. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Hey, I got a great uh, Hummer Tuesday story, story for you. God, the Hummer Tuesday is going to take off, Ant. Yeah, that one's a I'm glad keeper. we brought that back. All right, what do you got, Spike? Damn. Uh, about 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm driving my truck across Nebraska, and there's absolutely nothing to see and nothing to do. And my girlfriend got out of the sleeper, and I'm telling you, she is the greatest girlfriend in the world. She gobbled my knob like a black chick with a block of government cheese. It was beautiful. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh, it's great. <laughs> Terrific. Waiting for that. You find a little more, uh... And you got the Hummer all because of the radio show? Uh, partly, yeah. Part, well, partly that, and, uh, well, she's just a dirty girl. I like her. <laughs> 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 Love you, Jimmy. Oh, hey, uh, you guys Thank need you. a t-shirt that says cock me, nothing but cock me, and I'm punching out. See ya. Forgot. All right, let's go to Melissa in Utah. Melissa. Hey, what's up? You're the last phone call before the break, so make it good, because we're dying a slow death here. What do you got? <laughs> well, my husband told me it was Hummer Tuesday. He 
he actually gets one every day, but it was it was really good Ooh. yesterday. <laughs> it's really good. Why was it so much special? So much more What's special that? yesterday. Why was it so much more special yesterday if you do it every day? Well, because we have to add, I don't know, make it official every Tuesday, I guess. But yeah, it was, I, I was don't know. They're just fun. Well, it's not Wait, if, hold on, hold on. Anthony asked a very good question here. If you're giving <laughs> Hummers every did. day, why was yesterday special? What because was different was about yesterday's Hummer? Gulp. <laughs> I, it was like, I don't know. It was just extra good. It was because uh, I knew I was doing it for a reason, not just you know. Oh. Did you work your finger into his crack and then pull it out, and your finger smelled like onions? <laughs> <laughs> did you no. Let his friend, did you let his friend watch from the closet? <laughs> No, no, nothing like that. Well, then what's special about it? Yeah, what was special about it? Well, I just... Uh, gosh, I don't this? know. A after he blew a load in your face, did you go, thank you, now I'm going to shut the fuck up for the rest of the day? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Wow. I'm that saying that'll be, be nice. Wow. <laughs> that, that's no disrespect. Just that'll describe it Just describe it from beginning to end. Yeah, so. let's, uh, let's get into this a little bit. Let's get into it? Just describe it. He came in, you sat down, you got down, you know, you kneeled down, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. What was okay, the well, position? Last night, he, he has to go to work early. So he went to bed. And, you know, it was Tuesday, so I had to be, you know, last last thing of the day that happened. And uh, just started going down on him and, and yeah, made it official. So <laughs> he did some move his underwear to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then what happened? What happened after that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, I guess you could say he blew his load all over me. <laughs> I guess you could say. Well, then what happened? So, she, oh, yeah. It, it happens quite often, but yeah, it, it was special on Tuesday. We'll make that a Really? All right. So yeah. after after that, uh, what happened? Uh, after well, that? well, after that, then I kind of, I guess I made him excited, so... Uh, Went from there. But after that, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, after That's that. That's what we're getting at here. What happened after that? After that? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, we... Can I, I don't know if I can swear on your station, but yeah. Oh, no, you I, can. After that, we... I can. Okay, after that, we we fucked and we had good sex. Hey! To Utah. So, um... Then what happened? And then what happened? Yeah. yeah. Well, and then he he went to bed and he had a had a good night's sleep and yeah yeah. So he we went to bed. Wait, so he went to bed. So um, then what happened? And what happened after he went to bed? Yeah, because you're you know still. What happened? Oh. Yeah, obviously you can't just go to bed. Something else had to happen. So what happened? And he I don't know, he went to sleep and yeah and I told him uh, next next Tuesday. We'll make sure it happens again. So, yeah. But then what, though? What happened after that? You're not saying. After he went to bed? Yeah. She was very badly raped, you see. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> you see? After he went to bed, we just... Yeah, you just got to finish the story so we go to break. So what happened? Oh, okay. Well, after he went to bed, we just kind of played around some more and... Then I tucked mm -hmm. him in, and he had a good night. And? Oh, yeah. No, and, and then? And, and, I, after he blew his load all over me? Yeah, what happened? That, uh, that's all that happened. You're leaving something out. I, I think he was pleased. With what? Oh, what happened? I don't <laughs> What happened? He said he was pleased, so he, what happened? Well, he had, we had some good sex, yeah. And that, you, you want details? Yeah, of what happened. <laughs> what happened? He just, I went God. down on him, he went down on me, and... He no, we know, that. but then after that, what happened? Yeah, you tell a really bad story. You're not, so you're not getting what to happened. the point of what happened. <laughs> well, nothing happened. He got his good, um, his Hummer Tuesday, mm -hmm. and 
And that, that's what happened. We had some, some good sex, and he went to bed. And the other thing that happened. The other thing. With the rest. Thing. Yeah, with the rest of the what happened. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What's it? We just, uh... Wow, you sound yeah. really confused. It's our well, job as a radio know, show to ask you what happened, happened, and then you tell us what happened. So, uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. We're waiting. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love the confusion. All right, more with Colin Quinn, who's at Caroline's this weekend here in New York City. Woo! Toby and Anthony, Bob Kelly, Jim Norton, of course. Of course. Whoa, hey, there's something you don't see every day. Oh. Big. Of course, it's Whipping Out Wednesday on Pal Talk. Uh, deliver us from Eva. Is being a good sport today. And, of course, Colin Quinn playing uh, Caroline's here in New York City all weekend long. Is she the only one flashing today? Have a lot of girls flashed on oh, Pal Talk? Big boobies. Big boobies. Big wow. boobies on the camera. Those are very impressive. Hello. Anyway. Wonderful. Very nice. It looks uh, like two Nortons leaning off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we went into break, and they played a promo for What the Hell Is That? And everyone is pissed off. They're like, fix the fucking audio. What happened? Is it, is it out of phase or something there, Steve? It's coming in way I too much. I don't know. Holy shit, who the fuck did that? What the hell is that promo? The volume levels were all fucked up, and the mix sounded awful. Steve. Ask Steve. It's coming in from e all rock. The And then ask Steve why he stole Snake Plissken's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like that reference. It's seasonably warm out. Huh? Yeah. It's seasonably warm out, so I was <laughs> You are the Duke of New York. You're a number one. Uh, <laughs> Steve dressed like he dressed like the guitarist in the Beaver Brown Band. <laughs> Eddie and the Cruisers. Yeah. Yeah. At least his eyebrows grew back. That was disturbing. Did they? Let me see. Yeah. yeah oh they grew yeah. Back. Look at that. Lucky. All right. Finally. Freaking cancer patient for a month and a half. <laughs> All right. Why don't we play this promo? Let me hear what's wrong promo? with this thing. Yeah. Let me hear it. Too. Oh wow. Yeah. You can barely hear it. Could be the most disgusting program you've ever heard. It's what the hell is that? Bacterial vaginosis. That is effed up. You, uh, just to clarify, it doesn't leak on its own. Oh my god! What are you crazy? Yeah. What are you insane? What does he have? He has rotting corneas. What do you have? I have rotting corneas. <laughs> wow. Let's just say he's got a growth. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. <laughs> It's the return of What the Hell is That on the Opie and Anthony Show. If there's something on your body and you're pretty sure it doesn't belong there, call the Opie and Anthony Show. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. What the hell's oh, the prognosis? Geez. What do you think it is? What is the C sign? <laughs> Canker sore. Canker sore. Our highly trained staff, which may or may not include a medical professional, will evaluate your oddity and then point and laugh accordingly. For more information, visit our website or email Travis at foundrymusic.com. So it sounds fine from where we sit. <clears throat> They're saying the, the the levels are all over the place, though. It might be something that has to do with XM. I'll, uh, all right. I'll give it to Derek. By the way, love the promo. Yeah. Thank what are we yeah. doing? What the hell is that? Was Quato the doing, best one ever? Well, didn't you want to do it on uh, oh, in, uh, yeah. yes. during the Philly oh. thing? That was horrendous. No. She is you know disgusting. No, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking something else. That's weird. Philly, uh, we're that's doing uh, sorry, Strangest thing. thing You Own. Strange, strange Just don't ever wave your hand like that again, Steve. Steve went, oh, no, 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 no. And he put his hand in the Ah, pshaw. Ah, Oh, you Dude, masher. Uh, we got to do what the hell is that? boy outfit alone. Steve's working for the weekend. Might as well. He certainly does it Monday through Friday. Oh. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> uh, when are we doing what with the... you? You shoot the guy. That was hurtful, Jim. <laughs> can we can we set a day for what the hell is that? Of course we can. Can we get it on the docket? Sure. The docket. Yes. 
I forgot, man, how great that oh, show was that it's fantastic. day. Fantastic. You you saw Twaddle. Oh. Colin Quinn saw Twaddle. That's why Norton quit smoking from one of the what That's right. was that? Was from that? Yes. Sandy Kane. Twaddle is the most horrifying thing. I still to this day I still uh, you know what I mean. Sandy Kane, who was part of the uh, Phil Spector trial. I and still, still my favorite of all time for going to OBE. <laughs> in the middle of a room full of people. Opie, you want a blowjob when he's going to bed? And he goes, no. She goes, what are you, gay? <laughs> yeah, 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 it, yeah. it was humiliating. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> what are you, gay? Yeah, the problem is... you, gay? Yeah. Hey, she yells at Yeah, room. that's the problem. Opie, you want a blowjob? <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the uh, general war she got hanging off half uh, your body. And her uh, asshole. What oh, my God. Her yeah, asshole. Water. She had her own mustard. <laughs> her homemade <laughs> mustard inside of her asshole. Right? Twato for the newbies, uh, right off her uh, her lips, <clears throat> her labia. No, about an inch off. I mean, it, it had nothing to do with yeah, her. It was a <laughs> private area. Get a photo. Was, up. was half a right. ear just hanging there? Yeah, half a like mouse ear. Yeah, yep. just right. hanging there. It's like a wild mushroom. And then it, she, it looked ah, like uh, ah. the consistency of cauliflower too. Yeah. Oh. This bumpy. Yeah. I want to chew it like. Oh no, you don't. And then <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody, Paulo. Paulo from Ron and Fez's oh, show yeah. ended up kissing it and licking, oh, and yeah. licking it on our show. He uh, suckled yeah, on it. our show or whatever. He yeah. suckled. Did he suckled lick the it. one in the asshole too. She had one in her asshole. Yeah, then she mooned us and showed something growing out of her ass. She had a big that roid. Was just as bad. Her asshole eh, eh. is what made me throw up. The twato was made me puke, but her asshole was f a fucking atrocious. Just this big nasty old woman asshole. It looked like an infected operation. <laughs> yeah. By the way. Uh, when we played the promo, it was fine. So it has something to do when when XM plays it over there, over at the other studio that they're rebuilding. Yeah. Uh, you can't see it in that picture. All right. All Can right. you get these pictures up on opianathity dot com? They are. And you get a close but, up. Yeah, but they, are they easy to find? I'll put them on the headlines. Yeah, Can we'll put them on the headlines for everybody. Headline. Huh? I want to get a close up because I haven't seen Twato in years. I made Twato my aim icon for like a month. Yeah. No. <laughs> and everybody Disgusting. hated me. Disgusting. You imagine what Twato would smell like if you bit into it? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Fuck! I wonder what the consistency is. Like I bet it's calamari. Gr no, calamari? gristle. Oh, calamari. gristle. Yeah, like gristle. Mm. It would crunch when you bit it, but not in a crunchy Captain Crunch way. In a gristle, like meat gristle way. You imagine sixty nine mm. in the and like you're no. chewing yeah. on Twato, yeah. and her asshole is right over yeah. your nose. Right on. <laughs> right you fucking, on. You suck Twato. You lick through her pubes. Oh, her at her ass well, hair had like three. All right, hold on. Colors. We we got a picture up where I forgot we painted it yellow. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! Oh my god! It's uh, it's it, it's northeast of her uh, of her. You can't miss it. Yeah, it is large, man. I'm sure, she wasn't playing paintball. I forgot we used to paint it. Like an aerial shot of Asia. <laughs> we used to paint it when we got bored. Oh, it, it looks like she has gum yeah, it caught like in her pubes. Eating, eating her pussy and he just put his gum there. Spit his <laughs> gum out in her twat. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's the... Oh, my God. There's... Ah, wow. There's uh, Paula licking. And was that Paula? Yeah, right. Paula licking it. Look. Bobby. Look, Bobby. Come on. He's got... You know, Bobby, Look. Can we see Look. the asshole? Yeah, show Bobby the asshole. Wow, it you really like can zoom in on that picture. I don't know why you painted it, because it, it it, 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 the skin value no. looks worse. Yeah. 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 Let's, see if we can Definitely. Find, let's see if we can find an asshole for uh, Bobby here. Let's find the asshole shot. Yeah, it, it's all. It's, there oh, you go. Guys know <laughs> there is, he's got, he's, are, you are you kidding he's me? He's licking her asshole. Are you kidding me? Look no. at him licking that ass. Who is that? That's Paulo. Paulo's crazy. Yeah, he's and he's... Oh my! His God. face is buried <laughs> in her ass. Did he get anything for that? No, no. It's kind of nothing. Disease. He just oh. stuck his head in her asshole. Yeah. That's for the notoriety. That's right. You want to talk about uh, schizophrenia? I'm watching you guys talk about this and look at this on the other screen. Rachel Ray with Courtney Thorne Smith talking about according to Jim, <laughs> the two ends of the spectrum in American exactly. life. Right, Twato. <laughs> yeah, and Courtney Thorne Smith talking about according to Jim. <laughs> More bitter Colin Quinn. <laughs> we love bitter uh, Colin Quinn. He doesn't understand what the hell's going on in entertainment. No, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the open asshole, Eric. Do we have it? Yeah. Why are you being shy? Let's oh, go. Uh, Norton's like Scorsese. Show me the open asshole, Eric. <laughs> um, do we yeah. have it up yet? <laughs> hey, we don't have that. You have that shot? What happened? What happened? No. No, all right. We'll try to find it. Oh, then if, for Valentine's Day, we painted it red, this, this growth of hers. <laughs> Look at it red. 
We got it, all the colors representing. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. <laughs> and her little teddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, that looks that's like, horrendous. She looks like a corpse with a teddy on. Oh. That looks like one of those Easter egg ducks. <laughs> Why was it painted? Because we we ran out of things to do with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you forgot. There's only so much you could do with it. And it should, wouldn't so you have that removed? Fucking disgusting. I want to take it all with pliers. Remove with a <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Fucking a nice well, razor. Anyway, listen. You should have that removed and then have somebody eat it. Like I just swallow it whole. Oh. Just have it removed, put it in a jar, and then somebody swallows it whole. <laughs> all right, listen. We're uh, we're going to get what the hell is that? Uh, part do. Part of dicks. Uh, we got to get that done in the next couple of weeks. What do you say? What do you yeah. say? Get her done. <laughs> oh, we'll get her done. Ah, there it is, unpainted. Oh! That's that's my story. Look at that, that is a piece of cauliflower. It's like different yes. little segments like on it. Foot. It's like a foot. <laughs> that a is a foot. <laughs> it looks like a baby's foot. Yeah. Like a newborn's foot. It Maybe looks it like is. a brain. It's a Holy. little brain. Dude, you're not little kidding. Little it looks like a tiny little baby. Uh, <laughs> it is a baby. Oh, I think it's a conjoined twin. Or a little baby fist. Trying yes. to poke out. It's a little meaty turtle shell. It's a little <laughs> meaty No, that's turtle you shell. you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ride. <laughs> oh, I'm going to puke. Yeah, you right on that? What piece of, uh, what's it look like? A piece of sushi. What kind of sushi does that look like? Mm, Fucking uh, octopus. shrimp. Yeah. No, like super white tuna. <laughs> 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 All right, let's uh, move on. Jim in Canada. So what the hell is that coming back to the show? Jim, what's up? Yeah, hi. Uh, there's a website hey. you can check out. It's um, shemuscle.com. Shemuscle.com. Hurry, Eric. Hurry. Hurry. Is that the delay's going to kill us. Is that the girl with the big clit? Shemuscle.com. Well, she's right. in Canada? Did we lose? Too many people went no. for it? Come on. Oh, no. Ugh. Ew. Oh, these are chicks with big clits. I love these chicks. What? The... Who the what the? You can also say it another way. Who the uh. what the? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Why are we looking at SheMuscle.com, Jim? Why wouldn't we be? <laughs> why are we Why are we looking at this? It looks like guys with uh, with tits. Jim, explanation? No. Okay, <laughs> please. Jim. Be just Jim. beautiful. Well, they're not beautiful. Uh, not not, not at all, man. What? Well, there's nothing unattractive. Jim has his hands down his pants. I always do. Jim, you no, like you like SheMuscle.com? No, not really. But I, I like not it. really. They're too, ma they're too masculine. It's like my it birthday this weekend. <laughs> I like you're on the big cliff. Your boss will be 50 on Saturday, and he wants something special done. At the Mohegan Sun show? Yeah. yeah. Mm. He told it's my birthday. Me. I like to show him his fucking lung x-rays with a big black spot on it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, stupid. He, he just bought a Porsche, too. A, a brand new Porsche. Uh, a new one? Well, it's a 2003. Uh, that's what I mean. A new it's Porsche to Voss yeah. 2003. He, he pulled up at the cell last night and pulled right in front. <laughs> of course he did. He <laughs> sat there. And it makes it, uh, it, makes it look like, ah, oh, I just happened to pull up. You know, I'd like to get him for his birthday a bottle of whiskey and a fucking guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we done with SheMuscle.com? Uh, oh, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> and his ass is red again. What's wrong with you? Why does your ass get red? On this, He's uh, got a rash. He's got a little baby boy rash. No one has baby skin. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Get some baby rash. We're going to move on to the carpenter who makes spanking uh, kits to give to parents. Uh, what? Let's come down to this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> spanking kits? It's come down to this. Opie tries. But <laughs> it comes down to this. this. <laughs> We've hit the old wall. Let's take a listen to this. <laughs> Joey Salvati says four conversations with the Lord in his shower convinced him to create spanking paddles to punish unruly children. Hmm. Jesus. This guy's great. That's what the Lord's up to? Spanking paddles. Yes. All, all the shit going Spankings. on in the world, this is what the I'm Lord is into. Moaning. This check is the thing. cool space this guy's also built. <laughs> spanking paddles. <laughs> get get another use. Yes. The Lord said they should eternally sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off. <laughs> Put the lotion in the bird. If you have to do something with your child if you do it this way at least you're getting their attention but you're not harming them mm -hmm. and he's giving these pedals away 1400 of them so far along with an owner's manual of sorts everything from how many swats to apply oh, to an sick. appointment card for scheduling the spanking but always as the website says 
to be used lovingly and never in anger. Right. And they take American Express and MasterCard. Get one what for this show. Yeah, absolutely. What, Let's get one. What parent is scheduling a spanking with this creep? Especially for this dude, yeah. And and never in... What did he say? In love, never in anger? Never in anger. Yeah. Always in love. You have to write out in the appointment card. So you can see if the youngster has a conflict. No, no, no. Like 11.30, I have an alcohol-fueled molestation. <laughs> 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 yeah, because when we got hit, uh, uh, when we were kids, it was out of love, right? There was no yeah. anger involved whatsoever. None at all. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I was getting oh. smacked with anything. Okay, let me explain something. What, what? <laughs> the girl's online with her tits out making a Nazi hair. She's sign. zig-hiling. She's zig-hiling uh. with her tits hanging out. <laughs> oh, my God. She, she looks like a Fraulein. Oh. That's so funny. That's true. What happened with the other girl there? She looks. I'll tell you, if, if Ava Braun had that attitude, we might still have uh, the Reich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the creep with the paddles. Spanking kids. Okay, sorry. Yeah, spanking kids. It's got to be some kind of like you know mixed message, you know what you think? <laughs> yeah, I would agree. But there's some parents who don't know what to do with their kids. You know, they've tried everything, but they might have tried beating their kid. Okay, the last rule on this page is give your child a hug. Tell him you love him. But Salvati believes his panels and his spanking plan do make a difference. But Dad never mm. hit me. But you know what? Dad is going to hit you this time. Okay? Might be the last time. Because you know that he will do it. It's not that he wants to do it, but if he follows these rules, he's not going to beat you. He's going to smack you. And he's going to talk to you. This guy sounds like a so it's ghoul. Learning. As oh, he's he really talking does. right now, he's probably wearing white spandex bike shorts and has a giant <sighs> fat tent yeah. in them. It's, uh, he's, he's, gonna, it's, he's breathing. He's, he's like, he's going to spank you. <laughs> he's going to hit you. He's going to touch your little pee-pee. <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> he sounds like the BTK killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And then I walked in the house. Remember? Yeah. yeah. Shot him in the head. <sighs> What a creep. There's a certain age where spanking becomes fun. Yeah. Does it? Two. Yeah. <laughs> Two. <laughs> there was never any thought to my spankings, never in, in love, out of love. My spankings came out of anger. From one or two of my parents for something I did that pissed them off. Spankings? And it wasn't a spanking. It was a fucking... Spanking is like, like oh, naughty, naughty. These were like Slaps. whale with a fucking belt. Got, with a leather belt on my ass laying down on the bed with like, as he spoke what I did. And every syllable, it was like, what did you do with that clock? You broke it and should make sure it is fixed the correct way. It, I'm like, what the fuck? I could stop. He got hit on syllables. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was like every word. <laughs> He would hit me with, and every syllable. See, my father was always out of anger. He'd always go, now go in there and put that dress on, and then he'd make me traipse out. And every time he'd smack me, I'd have to say, I'm a pretty girl, but I don't behave. <laughs> Norton, in a, Norton wearing a dress and Doc Martens. <laughs> you know the song, uh, 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 Celebrate? Celebrate. Yeah, I love that Celebrate. song. Celebrate. Dance to the wedding. music. I think it's a... No, not that one. Sly in the Family uh, Stone. Yeah. Was that them? Yeah. Good yeah. times? I was singing that. Celebrate good times? No, no, not that one. The electric slide? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was the one... Uh, uh, I thought Celebrate. it was... Celebrate. Dance to the music. Celebrate. Yeah, Dance to the music. I thought it was Three Dog Night. Nah, maybe. Is it, it Sly? Oh, yeah, Three oh, Dog oh, Night. Whatever. That one. Okay. Uh, I was singing that like early one Dog Saturday night. morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing that early one Saturday morning. And I was a kid, very young, but I didn't know. And then I started singing, celebrate, celebrate, dance the music. And then I go, masturbate, masturbate, <laughs> dance the music. Just because it was a word I heard. And not knowing why or anything. My father comes out hungover, all groggy out of the room, like <laughs> like funny. like rubbing his eye. And just walks up to me and goes, whack, right across the face. <laughs> yeah. I fell off the table because I was singing on the table. Like I had a microphone. And I'm like, right. celebrate, celebrate, dance to the music, masturbate. 
masturbate, <laughs> masturbate, dance to the music, and wham, he smacks me. I fly off the table not knowing why he just fucking did it. <laughs> just but the best kid. part is he was still rubbing his eyes. Oh, he was still like, he's tired. <laughs> he's not he's even like, what? Because he's laying in bed in his underwear, probably going, what the fuck is that kid saying? Actually, my cousin had a similar situation when... And Joey took care of it. Well, my grandmother was sitting there. She was on the back of the couch. <laughs> I am. She's on the back of the couch, and she goes, you, I got cum on Eileen, and my grandmother smacked her over the back of the couch. <laughs> over the back of the couch. I got cum on Eileen. <laughs> All right. Uh, masturbate. It's masturbate. Great. Masturbate. Maybe masturbate. you didn't want you to become a, a hack wow. song parody guy. Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Jesus, my career. It would have been worse. Made my he, career. It would have been worse, though, if he came, came out in chaps, like swinging a belt like a lasso and doing it. <laughs> and actually showing me what, it was, yeah. what I was singing about. Sing, boy. There's a theme Celebrate to Celebrate and masturbate. There's a theme to all your dad's stories. He was very worried that you were going to become uh, a, a, little, a little light in the loafers or something. Gay? Any any father, I think, has that in the back of the head. But that was like where the forefront of my dad was like, you know, ah, oh, you're in man training. When I went out in Cal to California, he was like, you're in man training. Uh, what, do, what do I got to do today? Um, all right, look, you want to drink a beer? Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love to drink a beer with the guys, you know, drink a nice cold Coors. Uh, you're 12 years old, drinking with the, the guys. Okay, sit on this bull for eight seconds. And I'll let you have a beer. Are you kidding? And it was a Brahma bull, but it wasn't one of those you see at the rodeo, the giant ones. It was a, a it, it was a baby, but it wasn't a little tiny one. Big enough for a 12-year-old. It was scale for my size. Who did it look like in this room right now? Ah, uh, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> like Bobby. Oh, Bob. <laughs> oh, Bobby. Right. And, and I got on the thing, and, and they strap your hand in and let, let it out of the gate. And I fell right off on my ass. But you know something? They gave me the beer anyway. <laughs> but they laughed. They were all laughing. And then they're going, now, get out of there. Get out of the arena. Because the thing turns around to kill you. You were there playing you fall toy. off. Yeah, it was like yeah. like it was fun. your dad and his friends getting drunk and making you do silly things. I would do that, and then they'd have parties over this guy Jimmy Jackson's house. Jimmy Jackson is a guy he uh, he was crazy, and he had this uh, uh, rent string of horses, and he used to weld things. So he welded together a chariot and hooked it up to a horse and rode through town. Uh, Central Islip? No, this was out in California, oh. and the horse got spooked and ran between two parked cars and just <laughs> ran. The chariot hit these cars and just destroyed. It's amazing the damage a chariot can do to a couple of cars. <laughs> but these are the people we're dealing with. So they would party and drink and get all drunk. So I went around back to take a leak, and there was this Indian uh, woman, you know, the uh, like out west, woo woo woo, Indian women. And uh, her That's husband. That's not correct. They're wild Indian. Wild Indian, right, right. Wild. Red skin. Uh, <laughs> out there. Indians, yeah. Uh, and she was married to this guy that just got out of prison. And she was laying there. And she, she had like her top almost off. It was a halter top kind of thing. And she goes, you want to take a roll in the hay? Mm. And I'm just kind of standing there like, oh, boy. Oh, mixed signals because, you know, my hormones are going and I kind of want it. Smoke but signals. I, but, but her husband reminded me of uh, the who was Gans's partner? Billy Bear. Billy Bear. I'm Billy Bear with a big knife <laughs> for 48 hours. <laughs> you want to know part of that? So I like ran away all scared. But it was nothing but like sexual uh, attraction by older women Hold or on. sometimes uh, old Mexican men. What was, what was it? Yeah, the Mexican man. Mexican what? man tried to pick me up when I was uh, uh, out in California. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sitting there and again, everybody's drunk and this Mexican guy comes up and goes, Hey, you, you want to you, you wanna go in the bushes over there? I was like, excuse me? He goes, me and you, you go in the bushes. And my father that heard it. fun. I know. Me, a Mexican guy in the bushes. Tell nice, him. unclipped. And your father heard it? Oh, my father heard it and beat the piss out of this guy. <laughs> in front of his relatives. Because oh. like, he was like a relative of uh, Mexican guys that had a stable uh, right next to ours, and that was where the party was. And just, like, bounced this guy off of this car. He was like, what the fuck did you say to my son, you motherfucker? Just pounded him. And, and then the Mexicans were like, Joey, Joey, calm down. It's okay. He's a fucking asshole. And they kicked him out of there, you know? Well, you he, he was out of there. some good times. Oh, good times. <laughs> hey, good uh, times. What about the story where they set you up? Yeah, that was Jimmy Jackson's house, too. Yeah. Jimmy Jackson was leaving to go to the auction to pick up more fucking dog meat horses for his <laughs> rent string. His rent string was pathetic. It was horses that Hold were up. diseased. Yeah, I got two stories. You got to tell the, the, the one you're telling, and then you got to tell the horse story. 
Oh, yeah, that one, uh, too. That was right. another Jimmy Jackson one. Right, Jimmy sorry. Jackson is, like, quite the character out in California. <laughs> and he was always, always scamming stuff. <laughs> and uh, so he was going to Chino to buy some horses. So I was left to run the rent string with his wife, Patty, who, who was uh, uh, this uh, young, blonde woman. Um, so Patty was, he goes, Patty's sleeping. He goes, don't worry about it. Just take care of the rent string. And I saw his truck pull away. Well, apparently... He uh, well he he pulls away. I see that. I go into the house to get something to eat, and I hear Patty go, Anthony. Oh. I was like, okay. I look in the room, and she's sitting there with the sheet just pulled up above her breasts, Ooh. and and she's going, and she taps on the bed. She goes, why don't you come on in here? I go, I don't think so. She goes, Jimmy's gone. She goes, come on in here. Let's have some fun. And I I just kept saying, I go, no, I can't. How old I go, were you now? Twelve. I was probably. 12 or 13 around there somewhere. They just fucked with him, man. And uh, and I just kept insisting no, and the joke was over at that point because Jimmy had pulled around back, gone in the back door, and he was hiding in the closet. And he came out with his shotgun going, you son of a bitch, what are you doing in this room with my wife? But it didn't pan out as well because they were, they were actually hoping I would have taken my clothes oh my off God. and jumped into bed with, with his wife so the gag would have really been funny. Well, the gag probably wouldn't have happened. They would have, he would have watched you fuck her and whacked her. <laughs> yeah, he could have jerked off. <laughs> nice peyote. And done that. A lot of peyote in that freaking ranch. Jumped in the great. bed with your fingers in his wife. Oh. Would have been was, great. Patty was uh, pretty cute, yeah. actually. I was very tempted. You sound like you were regretting it, yeah. I, I, yeah, you I could have. knew better. I could have. I could have actually shot Jimmy and fucked his wife anyway and kill her and then left. They'd have thought it was a murder-suicide. Oh, horse story. Horse story. Yeah. Horse. Uh, Jimmy Jackson also used to haul away dead horses. It was uh, these, these stables were all over the place. And a lot of kids had horses and people had horses. And sometimes a horse would die and the kid would be, ah. And Jimmy would go there and go, don't worry, we're taking a nice grave site and everything. And what Jimmy would do was take these horses to a gully on his property and just dump it to where the rent string, when I used to take the rent horses up, they would start rearing up and going, when you got close to this area. Because there's nothing but these decomposing horse carcasses, like three layers deep. And you're, and you're paying the holocaust of horses. Yeah, and you're paying, you're paying top dollar to have Jimmy Jackson take care of your Take your horse, horse away. It's going to be a nice grave on the top of a hill with a little yeah. cross. And oh, this pile horse. of rocks or something. And, Instead and of this, just throwing it out. He grew up gully. on Spawn Ranch. Right. It was just <laughs> an awful place. Uh, I had a blast, though. So so Jimmy oh. was hauling away a dead horse, and he pulls it in front of his trailer uh, to go in to take a piss or something like that. And there was a guy there that wanted to buy a horse. And Jimmy starts telling him, he goes, I got this great horse. It's in the trailer. He goes, but it is so uh, out of control. It's like an unbroken that we had to uh, uh, give it some kind of sedative. He goes, it's in the trailer right here. And the guy's like, wow, it's a nice-looking horse. Uh, he goes, but, but it's really crazy. So my father got in the trailer and started kicking the trailer. And Jimmy's like, oh, shit, he's waking up. He's waking up. So he had this needle, and he, like, pokes the needle in the horse's nose. And, and he's like, all right, calm down. And the guy's like, wow, that horse is really it dead. Like, it was de stone fucking dead. <laughs> and this guy was ready to buy a dead fucking horse from Jimmy Jackson because he just loved the way it looked because he looked over the top of the trailer. And Jimmy's petting it, kind of holding its head down and putting its, his hand over that, that cr like, crusty, glazed over dead horse eye and going, if, yeah, because if, if you uh, hide his eyesight, he doesn't get as, uh, as jumpy. And he, he stuck a needle in him, and he's like, all right, calm down, boy, calm down. And the guy goes, that's a pretty horse. How much you want for him? I don't want to go out on a limb here, but I think Jimmy Jackson was a dick. <laughs> Jimmy Jackson was one of the funniest motherfuckers and best characters. He was also, I swear to you, one of the most racist guys I've ever known in my life. We don't believe that. He fucking hated black people. Hated them. And he used to, he had a kid named Rusty and a daughter named Shyla. And Shyla had to be maybe two years old. And when he wanted to discipline her, he would say, uh-oh, Shyla, I see it. You're turning into a... N and, and he would he'd say the N-word, of course. And she would start crying and and with a little <laughs> girl voice go, I don't want to be a Nigu. I don't want to be... And that's how he would... He would <laughs> 
<laughs> and you made that your <laughs> ringtone. <laughs> but here's the thing. It was he was saying he was racist. Yeah. But her natural instinct as a two year old was to cry and say, Don't let me be this. She didn't would not want to be one. Jesus, Colin. <laughs> it was maybe being Jesus. raised for two years around this guy. Anytime like we had a lot of Marines from Camp Pendleton right. would come up uh to rent horses on the weekend. They want to, you know, be cowboys for the weekend. And I would take them up into the hills. When black guys would come up, Jimmy would put them on the worst horses that he ever had, either ones that were not trained, where they would buck and rear up and just throw these guys <laughs> off of them, or give them the worst sway-backed, ready-to-die horse that couldn't keep up with the rest of the guys. <sighs> He was awful. You, go, you should see the horse I gave the dick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jimmy. Oh, All right, Jimmy. Is he dead go, or Jimmy. alive? I think he's still alive. He lives in uh, Lake Elsinore out there, I think. But uh, you call him? Uh, I, I'd love to give him a call and see oh. what he's doing. But he's probably an old guy now. You know, he was in his maybe early 30s back then, full of piss and vinegar, just like a real character. His brother, his brother-in-law, who was Patty's that woman, Patty's brother, was this big fat guy, and we were bull riding one day. Uh, when we kind of got good at it, and you'd strap the thing on, go, put put one hand on, and hold on with one hand. They'd open the gate, and you got to stay on for eight seconds. So this guy was drunk off his ass, big fat guy, gets on, holds on to the bull's horns, and goes, I don't need no strap, open the gate. Holy the God. gate opens, and the first thing the bull did was put his head flat down where his nose almost touched the ground, and, and he's holding on to the horns and flew forward. <laughs> <laughs> About 10 feet, landed on the ground unconscious, and the bull proceeded to just ragdoll him, throw him around with his oh. horns. So what did we all do? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He can't get out of the arena. Just a bunch of drunks. It was a bunch of Popping drunks peyote. doing oh. nothing but drinking. Uh, riding horses and trying to fuck whatever and, like and move killing and killing Sharon Tate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, very good. Uh, uh, great, great childhood, I gotta uh, tell you. We got more on the spanking guy, <laughs> that creep. Yeah, we went a little off road in there, and we're back on the highway. Um, he, he's making the spanking kits. Suggested punishment guidelines: one swat for disrespect, two swats for cursing. Mm. Three swats for cheating, lying, and direct uh, defiance. Mm. Four swats for stealing. And five swats for endangering someone's safety, taking drugs, smoking, and drinking. And six swats for telling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he has a section. Yeah. I think this is on his uh, website, which is spare-rods.com. Uh, Rods. Come on. Is that his wow. website, really? Yeah. Uh, calibrating your paddle. Before applying paddle to a child, you should determine the force of your swing. There is only one way to measure effectively. Swat yourself on the rump and adjust your swing appropriately. Nice. Oh. Have we what? ordered one of these yet? Swat yourself on the rump. Wipe the cum off your leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> More importantly, we should just get the guy in the Get the, the guy in the yeah. bed. Because, I mean, to order the paddle is... It's 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 a paddle. We Fucking paddle. It's just a dump. Get paddle. him on the phone. Let's get him on the phone, though. Yep. Swat's... Huh? Swats in the ass. It's a nice man. For maximum effect, have the child tell you the reason they are being punished. Paddle Thursday. Mm. Ooh. Nah, Paddle Thursday's too busy. Shut up, cat noise. Paddle Friday. Exactly. <laughs> cat noise Wednesday. Cat noise is Wednesday. How about if you how about if you have a paddle and hit a cat with a paddle on Wednesday? <laughs> hey, by the way, a mine or two. I had Roland come in because uh, I wanted him to do a cat noise. They just teased the video of the day, by the way, too. They stopped the. Yeah, they stopped the video right when the car was about to hit the. Oh. There's fucking media. All right, get. Oh, Roland. Hey. Cat noise Tuesday. Go. Um, meow. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> no acting. That's how he is. You know that. By know. Wait, it's fucking. Um, uh, no. How about uh, a happy cat? Um, meow. <laughs> that's more cat. If it that's was a cat with his arms on. raised into. Yeah. Um, meow. 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 <laughs> that's a, uh, that's your cat when the mean kids from the Brat Pack stole it in Hollywood in your childhood. <laughs> How about an angry cat? Um, meow. Jimmy, do your angry meow. cat, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> that's angry. That's angry cat. Uh. That's Jewish cat. Uh. Wow. <laughs> do it. Do it.
I don't like the sheen bouncing off your head. <laughs> yeah, you're really shiny today. What's up? <laughs> it's awful. I don't he's, like his pants. He's, he's caramelized. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that they actually have sizes in pants. He just buys the, a long pair yes, of pants. He judges by color. Ugh. All right, that's all we're going to get out of rolling today, wow. obviously. Mm -hmm. Bomb in a row. Yeah. All right. How did I get no car crash? And I had I had two two bombs. No oh, car. sorry. I was watching oh, um, the uh, Maury Povich uh, figured out another gimmick I for the show. I told you, Maury. He just gets uh, you clips not the from YouTube. Oh. I told you, Maury. Uh, you are not the father. Oh, damn. I told you. Damn. Uh, more importantly, someone's got to tell Maury he reached that age where you can't dye your I hair really, anymore. I was absolutely Is that it? That, as you there said. are old dudes you could get away yeah. with dyeing your hair, and then something happens. You hit that age yes. where you just can't do that anymore. Will I? He looks creepy, right? McCartney is starting to look like Janet Reno, and, <laughs> and, 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 and he looks fucking creepy. I mean, it's dark brown. The guy's got to be 70. Yeah. If so older. So now he's just taking YouTube videos yeah, and yeah. putting them on his show. Oh my god! And that's his show. Yeah, cat fights are always nice. Good, cat fight. Uh, cat fight. I love the cat Thursday? fight videos. No. Cat fight noise Thursday. Wow, she is pulling her hair. It's God. Oh, and then stop. Oh, oh nice. another girl came in for the tackle. Nice. Nice side tackle. You know you can't beat these cell phone cams. They really are. They yeah. just. Oh, and then she takes out her oh, knife. That knife oh. is a little dangerous. Because we all carry knives. And, and what and, faraway land is this? And it's Brazil. Is it Brazil? It's be Brazil. And, and then she was cuts the straps off her shoes. Why are people applauding? I love the applause. That's part. a big insult in Brazil to cut the straps off your shoes. Is it? Yeah, that's equal to stealing someone's avocado. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually. Yeah, Maury's hair looks good. Wow, wow that so does great. look well, a little I, weird. I, I want to look at fucking retarded Chappelle over there on Channel Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, all right, so for maximum effect, you have the child tell you the reason they're being punished. Parents should wait one minute before each SWAT. One minute before each SWAT? So wait a minute. You get one SWAT and then wait a minute? This is this guy. For the next one, that's torture. He's sick. That is like torture. Apply no more than five SWATs per day. We got to get this guy on the phone. Can we get him on immediately? Let's try to get him on immediately. Uh, spank only on the rump. Child must be wearing clothes. Use force sufficient only to get the child's attention. Oh, fun. Support child's torso so uh, no stress can be placed on their spine. Ah, uh, support oh, their torso with nice. what? The handle in the front? And, and the <laughs> I actually had an autograph by Jimmy Jackson. <laughs> After Jimmy punishment Jackson. is served, give your child a hug and tell them that you love them. Oh, that's Aww. good. Make that connection. And then tell them that's your cell phone in your pocket. And then kiss him on the neck. Spanking equals love. They, you don't. That's stupid. The punishment was for their behavior only. And look, Dr. Keith has raised by a racist on today. I know. That's Hilarious. nice. Could be my. Uh, uh, I, I should be. I should be on the show. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy your, Jackson. Your, your kid should be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. If, I'm so tolerant, it's ridiculous when compared to the likes of uh, Jimmy Jackson and uh, my family that I grew up with. Well, Jimmy Jackson said he, he scared his daughter with the idea of the boogeyman. Well, he, he, did, he absolutely did. <laughs> I don't want to be. And the kid would cry. She was like she was like milk white and uh, curly blonde hair, uh, like a little Aryan kid. Yeah. And she would just cry and cry that she did not want to be one. And today she'll probably be sitting in a car next to Patrice driving up to uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The this weekend. Showing her dad a thing or two. Hey, Daddy, I'm bringing my boyfriend home. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's go to Mike in Jersey. Mike. Oh, and hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey man. Hey, pepperoni nipples. How are you? I Could appreciate that type few of people. <laughs> Why did you answer that? Because he had to mean me. Really? That's no. my code name. Oh. <laughs> First, when I have secret operations to perform. <laughs> pepperoni nipples. Code name, pepperoni the nipples. nipples. Yes. Uh, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, I got uh, my cat throwing up noise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was it. Jimmy, he can't didn't eat cat hair Wednesday is failing miserably. You well, gotta, kidding me? They can't get enough of it. You gotta acknowledge it at this point. Hair, hair balls are more like a. I think just the and then they go. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> very good news for the fans. What? Yes, Paul O. Some people said stop saying Paulo, but Paul O. <laughs> kisses Twato. 
at 11 o'clock or sometime after Ooh. 11 on XM. Wow, yeah. what a treat. Yeah, a little treat for everybody. And, and Ope, to, 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 I, I think you're wrong. I think that just the opposite. I think that, that Cat Noise Wednesday is a massive hit, nope. and they can't get enough. It's going to be replaced by it. Dog Noise Thursday. No, that's... Colin? Oh. Yeah, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. I don't want phone call to Thursday either. I want, I want to whittle these. Old school Thursday sounds interesting. What does that entail? <laughs> it just, <it's laughs> All right, you guys. Have hey, more bitter Colin sucks. Quinn doesn't understand what's going on in entertainment. What's going I'm on working on a phone... bit with you, bro. What goes on for uh, phone call Thursday? Uh, uh, we take a, we... A, a lot more phone calls than we do on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think we also do. Call the, also called calling it in Thursday, if you know what I mean. <laughs> let, the, let the listeners yeah. do all the lifting for us. <laughs> <laughs> Bitter Colin Quinn doesn't understand entertainment. What's going on out uh, there these days? It's really unbelievable. What else have you seen out there? Well, I Evan mean, Almighty. Evan Almighty is really a, that's a winner. Um, that all the Owen Wilson trilogy I enjoy. Uh, oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Does he have the worst hair? I love the way he, like they they have to fucking spray his hair down <laughs> so you can't see that he probably looks like fucking Alan Arkin without hair. <laughs> spray it to his eyebrows. Oh, it, once in a while you'll see an angle and you're like that cocksucker. His fucking forehead goes to the the middle of his skull. <laughs> it's great. I was watching ATJ last week and then I repeat uh, according to Jim and. Uh, it was an episode with the uh, hamster. He brought a hamster, and the family didn't believe the hamster was really there, you know? Yeah. And then at the end, uh, so they, well, anyway, there's a long story short. The hamster wakes up Jim, who's sleeping on the couch like a wacky dad. Oh. Like <laughs> it wakes him up and saves the ha uh, house from a fire. Oh, a fire. Wow. Dead. Wow. And then they all ran out, and they Edgy still didn't stuff. believe it. The, they go, Dad, there's no hamster. He jumps out the window, and he saves it. Oh. So it was, like a series uh, was that a like special, that very special episode of? I think it might have been yeah. Peter related or something. Wow, Ooh. the hamster helped. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll Is there any show on? You know, I actually saw uh, Elaine from Seinfeld there, and her show oh, is still on. It's Christine. still on. Yeah. It's amazing. I was like, wait, this show is still on? She's yeah. got a so show? much for the Seinfeld curse, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they actually had uh, on. Is that what the the British curse Butler? with riches. All no, of, no. Uh, First of all, let's not pretend Norton wouldn't do a guest spot on there. Now go ahead and say what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly would. <laughs> is that the one with the British Butler? Butler that we, oh. we teased. Wow. When it no. first came out, we I played audio of it. And I think it. so, right? No, no. no. He, yeah, she has no butler. Oh, she's is that the one from she's a single uh, mom. The, the second one? She's a single mom. She's a single mom. She's still uh, in touch with her husband. She has a kid. Her kid was like a Stan's smart bit? kid. Yeah. Yeah. That was Stan's bit. That he, would, he would bring lines in. Uh, funny lines in from these sitcoms, and we would play them and just. Uh, and I they'd predict be so season bad. three, no there's kidding. a plot. Oh, I met a guy online dating, and this sellout shows up. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Christine. <laughs> I'm the crazy guy from online dating. No, I'm. I'm the, 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 <laughs> shut up and let them laugh, stupid. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one, Jimmy. It really was. I don't disagree. <laughs> it was really good. I don't We're disagree. not asking you to disagree. We're asking you to shut up and let us all savor your awfulness. You know what I say? <laughs> 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 If it was any other day than Wednesday, I'd be pissed, but he's Well, right. you know what? The, right. the guys <laughs> are forcing my hand, and I'm going to have to declare uh -oh. that it's that Monday through Friday, it's it's a, it's a cat noise melee. No! It's a melee of cat noises. Okay, I didn't want to say this today, but I'm going to say it. All right. I want you two to finally stand up and fire this fool. No, <laughs> it, it, it has to Because all... Shut up and let me finish. No, you're trying all to be fired. Comedy, no. I'm going to be polite. <laughs> <laughs> while, you, while, you, while you give probably a good case for my firing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the creep's not answering his phone. It's a spanking kid. <laughs> Maury is now doing a recreation yeah. of some kind of abduction rape thing. Yeah. Wow. It, He's like, look at this it's only mutilating, good horrible yes. little thing there. It would be good if Maury comes with his diamond. Yeah, right right. He's got the knife. Why don't you spread him? Yeah, Maury, you're a beautiful girl, no matter what people say. She was say. working the handcuffs sexy. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of Anthony and the Mexican when he was 12. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Maury's me. Maury's Damn me. dad cock blocking me. Barely clothed <laughs> and completely hysterical. The victim ran Barely the den of torture and made it to the authorities. Den of torture. This woman's violent, torturous ordeal finally came to an end. 
but her life would never be the same. Uh. As for the Fishers, kidnapping, false imprisonment, and sexual assault are just a few of the charges. Oh, that looks like Jimmy Jackson, a guy. Jimmy Jackson. Time behind bars for their disgusting oh. crimes. Oh, boy. Smokers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, applaud it. That guy looks like Voss when he's 60. <laughs> Five years. Initially, when she disappeared, her mom called the police. So the police were looking around. And, uh, same she's shit. awful. He's got like claymation, right. this guy. Blah, blah, blah. We'll take a break and we'll wrap up this mess well, next. I, All right. I, uh, Don't I, uh, forget, I, sometime after 11, we got Paul O. Uh, licking twaddle for everybody. Yes. In case you haven't heard that disgusting. yet. Disgusting. All right. Tomorrow, uh, by the way. What, 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 tomorrow what the, what the, is, uh, huh? is Dog Noise, noise Thursday? Thursday. Oh, no. no it's Jimmy. Cat Noise Thursday. Don't break our feet. Fire him, fire him. It's cat noise. Fire him. No. You're, you're No, fired. you can only do cat noises, but tomorrow. You're but, fired. But you have to sing the meow mix song. Meow, 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 it's the Opie and Anthony Show. 4,100. Off the top of my That's head. Pretty wow. good. Thanks, Hope. All right. Colin Quinn, of course, a very funny guy. We love when uh, oh. he's on the show. He hasn't been here in, I don't know, a year. Over a year. What the hell's going on with you? A long time. We're all wondering what the hell's going on with you. I'll tell you what's going on. I've been miserable and depressed as well. Why, Colin? Oh, Colin. I I've been depressed. Why? Yes, what's going on? Why are you depressed? What do you want me to say? Hey, guys, I've just been busy. No. no. I've been not busy and depressed. We're asking why. Yeah, why? We're you your friends. you. Uh, why? Why don't you watch TV? Oh, Peter Colin Quinn doesn't Peter understand Quinn. the entertainment business. You mean because you, well, so what? Do you have a little downtime? Yeah. A little. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> God damn. How, how deep does this roller coaster go? <laughs> <laughs> does it crash at the bottom? <laughs> that is true. Holy shit. Wow, come on, Bob. We, we do, this Bob, lunatic walked in, smashing me in the face. He deserves it. We do need a Caroline's deep, all weekend. We Fatso's going to gonna a be there. Deep sea diving bell to see the bottom of this valley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wanted to go out and do some gigs with Colin. Uh, yeah. It never happened. Now, yeah. he kinda, but first of all, wait a minute. If you want to get, if you want to be honest about a phony, let's talk about Norton. Yeah. <laughs> you are a liar. You no, said no. you want to do it. Shut up and let me f tell the true story. Yeah. He goes to me, hey, man, we should do some gigs together. I go, yeah, let's do it. I'll have, and, he's, and I could tell he was like panicking, like, uh oh, I'm not going to do this. There goes some of my All money. you want to do is be, <laughs> you want to think of yourself as a guy that wants to go do gigs with me. No, I do actually. <laughs> Shut up, liar. <laughs> I hope he said it. He went, uh oh, there goes some of my money. Exactly. <laughs> I know how you know it. Norton's skin flint and everyone knows it. I have to be very generous. No, Why you're else? not. Why else do we get an open micer from Pittsburgh before Jim Norton? <laughs> Kelly or Colin Thank Quinn. you. <laughs> I know the deal. <laughs> He's a tightwad. <laughs> Colin wants a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. He does. Do you, Colin? Yes. Bob, what did you say? I said, yeah, you want a lot of money. I mean, you're worth, you're worth, you're worth half oh. of what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I swear to God, I really had it this time. Yeah, there's a window right behind you. Take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a window in the back of your car so you can lean your head out. <laughs> that, uh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, that was, it was a dog <laughs> reference. <laughs> it was, a, it was like Thursday, stupid. It was a horse reference. All right, oh. that's Friday. <laughs> Why don't you go get your shoes nailed? <laughs> How's that? Bob, that was a good one. That was a good that was one. A fantastic right. one. <laughs> Shoes nailed. Someone's been watching the Discovery Channel and History Channel for a year. I'm playing yeah, that's where horses are on Discovery and the History Channel. <laughs> Stupid dirty job. Oh, Stupid. Boy. The old days. They used to, you know. You're losing, Bob. You're losing. I'm the referee. Come on. Come on. Punch your way out of the corner. I know you can do it. <laughs> yeah, take that wax candle you call a head and get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to end the show on a high note. <laughs> nobody, nobody, oh, Holy yeah, shit. He really has a lot of hatred in him. He comes back quick. Yeah. <laughs> so why the uh, the depression? You all right there, Colin? That's what I hear. Like, because Colin Norton, just hangs out in his house. Yeah, why? Norton screwed me. He did, right? On the deals. Oh, yeah. look, at, look at the girl's tits. <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> those are the biggest things I've ever seen. Look at them. Yeah, those are giants. They're, insane. they're yes. 42 long. That's actually, she's off a, she's off a oh, website, well, monstrouspig.com. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Steve's fat gay forearm keeps blocking the tits. <laughs> you mind your unshaven arm and moving it so I can see tits? He shaves his arm, though. Yeah, he does. Yeah, they are. Shaved. He nares his arms. That's all he does is shave all day long. <laughs> shave. <laughs> That's, all. If, That's if, all. He has to wake up two hours early to shave. <laughs> the, so no, I to shave his forearm. Well, I, know, I know why we didn't. Oh, uh, what happened? Why Colin and I didn't do the issue? Oh, why? I actually, yeah. you know why? Honestly, because I was uh, <laughs> there was we wanted to do Buffalo because I was warming up for uh, the special, so I was doing only weeks in comedy clubs and not theaters. Oh. So I, like, we were gonna do theaters together. We can't just do comedy clubs together. Are you sure it's not because you blew up and started doing these giant hour specials? Oh, boy. oh. I was doing comedy oh. clubs. I was doing like seven shows a week in comedy clubs to get ready for it. Don't. You're not answering my question. It's getting a little sure real now. A little uh, real. Yeah. No, he's asking me, but it's no. Shut up, you chisel. I haven't done a theater in a long time. Quiet, you tightwad. Don't oh, get boy. mad. Oh. You skin flint. We oh, split boy. it. Stop getting mad. He blew up and you deflated. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wish that you could do the same. <laughs> Dude, it's just... Everything you're pretty a, much setting them up. Obi, everything you say is just Obi, Obi, with these, everything's a setup. For I know. Fat I joke. understand. I just gotta, even if I lost weight and had abs, they'd still do fat jokes. <laughs> oh, well, do, you under, do you understand that? He's, why don't we still try be funny, it out? What do you mean, even if I lost weight and had abs? Yeah, so Colin, that, that's you your excuse for not getting on an exercise bike. <laughs> <laughs> they'd still make fun of me. <laughs> so why, why bother? Actually, you don't know how you don't know how real that is. I said, that's actually been brought up in therapy. <laughs> Could you imagine these guys? Go look at Bob's beautiful, well-formed body. Yeah, wow, he's like, an Adonis. He'd be like, it wasn't worth it. They're still busting God, they're my still shot. fucking <laughs> with me here. I still get it, but I, I, I still hit the gym. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> you hit the gym? <laughs> Jimmy swim walks. Oh, yeah. But Jimmy doesn't get made, made in front of his body. He's made in front of what he is. Uh, skin flint. <laughs> oh, hey, back generous. to the skin flint thing. I, mean, I throw my, was I Jimmy's not generous with you when you came down to film me? You were huh? generous. Thank you. Jimmy's one big stretch mark. No, I don't have any, actually. <laughs> yeah, you know. Grab it cock. <laughs> Jeez, you guys. All right. Um, yeah, I, I heard. That's all I heard, geez, though. Please. Like, it's like, what's Colin doing these days? When we'd ask, what's Colin doing? Uh, he just locks himself in his uh, apartment and uh, doesn't come out. Yeah, well, that sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> what about the road a lot, what about the I can just see you watching you TV all... going, what's this fucking shit? I don't Look at this crap. Any... Look, it's all fine. The only part that's bothering me, Jim, just now Jim said if I call you to hang out, the only thing I mind is the phoniness. Yeah. But it's not... And Jimmy is being a liar and a phony no, right well, now. Wow. Yeah, Admit yeah. that you're as heartless and cold and cow. Even your own girlfriend told me, hey, I try to get J Colin to Jimmy to call you and hang out, yeah. but he doesn't do it. Stop no, pretending no, you have a heart. He's the only friend. one about all my friends that didn't come by and see me. I was away. When I was on. Wow. Whoa. The only one. I was away. The only wait, one wait. that didn't know you were because you called me and said you were coming by tomorrow. And oh. You up. oh. A little boy waiting for daddy. Colin and actually come picked home. me up at the uh, actual hospital. Yeah. What, and a forklift? Even I showed up. Oh, you didn't even text me. <laughs> I showed up. You didn't hear that one. Uh, I heard that. I showed up though. <laughs> Where'd you show up? I never got the. I left a message with the doorman. Uh, that's, oh, my doorman in the in uh -oh. my new apartment oh. that I moved to. That I don't have a doorman. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> now one step in a bottle. <laughs> oh boy, my doorman. Oh man, Jesus. Well, I haven't been to your new place. I was like an old place. Yeah, Norrin's been. Oh, He's all right, been all you like my place, right? right? So you're cool with uh, Jimmy? Yeah. Yes, he is. You all right? Well, because the forklift joke was funny, so. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that's really funny. Hey, I swear to God, everything I say is a setup for a fat joke. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime your name comes up, Colin, Jimmy's the first one to say Colin is one Colin of the best who? comics he's what? seen. Sure, because he's that doesn't hysterical. cost him anything. <laughs> that doesn't cost him anything. That's why. Oh, the second it runs into cost, that I'm the, like, then Well, Jimmy's got a girlfriend now, the, too, though. With the gigs Colin and I do, I would say we would probably split the money. What gigs we yeah. do? If we do gigs, we would split the money. There's no gigs. So does he, I, does Colin demand more money than you're getting? Oh, of course not. No, I don't. Because that'd be crazy. I actually don't know. I don't so we're know. talking about saying, the yeah. we're talking about the gigs that never materialized. <laughs> yeah, they they did. Did. Oh. but if they did, you're you guys were making about the same it. money. Oh, oh. You, you now your people are tough. Uh, see? He's tough. making it all up, you no, guys. No, no his age, your agent. It's a stand up for Jimmy right now. Your agent. Your old one. I don't know about you know him, but your old one did from a year up. ago. Not even a year ago. <laughs> fucked up a lot of gigs. We had that gig, that theater gig ready to go. If and your age is one gig one more time, you guys. I swear he's obsessed. Why don't you mind your business? Well, thousands and shut of up. dollars, fatso, and I won't. Quiet. <laughs> your stupid agent denied it, and uh, and oh. you didn't even fucking say no to it. Did that's Did a fatso true. call another guy, I just love another fatso, fatso. Yeah, fatso. Really yeah. was. Say, like if we were tummy to tummy, what's going on here? If we were tummy to tummy, our tits wouldn't touch. 
If you were tummy to tummy, you wouldn't be able to see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, All right, can we I get out of here, as friends? Kyle. I, I suggested, no? it was right. my suggestion. <laughs> I said to Pete, like, I would love to do some gigs with Colin. He called your guys. They didn't call him back or whatever. Then they finally talked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. It's no, obviously Buffalo, your fault, Colin. All right, does it happen? I, I, no, no, no. Then, I then they now. talked. Uh -huh. Then they talked. Yep. Uh -huh. We were going to do Buffalo uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. yeah. I believe Colin now. I think Jimmy's yeah. talking too of much. Of course you know I'm telling you. Well, if we didn't have the uh, comedy tour... Uh, at Mohegan <laughs> this weekend, I would be going to see Colin Quinn Good at point. Caroline. Woo! Why can't you go tomorrow? Uh, starting tomorrow. We're leaving tomorrow. We're leaving oh, tomorrow. Fuck, man. It's a full time gig tomorrow. Because my girlfriend wants to because go to we'd First of all, I love Caroline's and I love. Colin Quinn. Oh, Thank he's you. very I actually, funny. I actually got a lot of emails from West Palm. A lot of people saw saw you over there, Colin. They, they said you're um, uh, amazing. Well, thank you, Robert. Me and Robert were down in Florida together. He was in Miami. I was in yeah, West but Palm. I didn't like oh. the way you just accepted that compliment, like a fucking. That just, because he's, he's telling the truth. Shot. Unlike those Buffalo shows. Look, look at him. They'll be known. Look at him. He needs all the confidence he can get. No, just let him have one. But, yeah. but how he just, how he just took that awful like, hey, I heard you were terrific the other night. Jeez, right, thanks, Bob. Shut up. <laughs> no, I was. Just saying, I was just saying that the old, the, the old man did a good job in uh, Orlando. All right. And a couple people, one person. <coughs> I'm sure he was terrific. How about we end with a butt rub? A butt rub. I said, I, I'll do it. <laughs> well, Jimmy, Jimmy's the king of the butt rub. It is butt rub Wednesday. We gotta end butt rub Wednesday. With a I would love oh, to see Sam's coming over. I guess he wants a butt rub. Meow, meow, meow. Sam, meow. Colin and He's Norm all cocked butt rub. Meow. No, I'm not rubbing my fucking ass on those awful. His fucking meow. his ass cheeks look like um, Thurston Howell the Third's face. <laughs> He's old and oh, jolly. Oh, he does his ass. That was his, a nice call. His ass. His ass looks like the scream that. mask. Oh boy. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. That is good. I want to do it. With All right, Sam. let's end the show quick. <laughs> Bob, foot rub with uh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, don't give me the compassionate I'm just frown, of the brow frown. Like, hey, I'm just asking. I don't, I don't I'm just get, asking. No, when you get cute, I get scared. That. Okay, when you get cute, I, I get scared. I know you found me uh, to be cute. You're Thank you. Cute. All right. All right. <laughs> You're the cutest guy in the room, always. <laughs> I'll do one with you if you want to. Yeah. No, I can't. Why? You have to. It's a butt rub. It's a butt rub. Yeah, it's also my, it's your butt on my butt. <laughs> Wait, that's yeah, it's just home. cheeks, though. It's just it's a few like seconds hole. of warmness. It's not that's butt all. hole, it's cheek. Yeah, it's cheek. You're just kind of, you know, Bob's cheek to cheek. There we go. Oh, God. I'm all right. <laughs> he just wants to get this over with. What the You're wearing what fucking the fuck comic. What are you wearing? Comics. Wait, wait, what are your... Uh, wait, there's a comic kind of, book undies that what, he's wearing. What kind of comic book is on your underpants? All right, hold on. Uh, he ain't... Oh, jeez, what's hanging out of your ass all? <laughs> <laughs> he just... He just... He just whipped your ass with his cock. <laughs> and what the hell was hanging out? What was hanging out of your ass? What the oh. hell? Oh, is that the tag on your underwear? There was tape or something. What was that? <laughs> Uh, right. What brand of pants do you wear? You slapped your cheek with my helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you to my ass. He touched helmet, yeah. his this fucking cock all over your ass. Dick whipped, whipped him. That was so gay. He dick whipped him. We're gay for even watching that. What the hell? It's gay. It's gay. It's gay. It's gay. Uh, a cock hitting somebody in the ass is not gay? Bob, get uh, on Mike. Get what on. is it? Heterosexual? No, it's not. It's not. It's fine. You all right with that? What, his ass? What am I going to do, dude? What am I going to do? I, I almost did it to I, his head before I was Bob almost was laying there. I'm, can I just say something, though? I'm almost disappointed <laughs> that Bob was laying there. Bob was laying there, and his head was there, and I was like, I got to slap my cock on the top of Bob's head. Just, nothing would be I know. I, I saw you were going to do that. I, the only reason I didn't is because like, I, I don't know if... Uh, Renee was in right. I'm like, I can't do oh, it. I, I was wondering why you were looking over there. That was Look why. Yeah, thinking. Like, we're being responsible broadcasters. Nah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll be stuff. silly, but I'm not going <laughs> to slap my dick on someone with the chicken in the room. And, and, yeah, you'd, and, slap your, you'd slap your dick on my, your friend's forehead. Oh, dude, but if a girl's in the room, head. it would have been. I know. I was looking, and I actually, I was, I was helping out because I was keeping you occupied in a conversation. Do you, you know? Understand? You know why he would want to do it to me instead of calling? Because he knows I wouldn't try to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not why. Why would Colin help? What? What happened? <laughs> you know, Quinn. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're saying. You know, you know Robert, I don't know what you're saying. I'm saying that you, well, you're yeah, ruining the nice show at the end of the fucking show. That's all I say. Don't get mad. Shut you up and take your April. abuse, you <laughs> cocksucker. That's what your uh, comic book uh, undies. Yeah, what's no, that? They really are awful. What, what comic book are they? I don't know. 
You do know. I really don't. You don't know. Right, let's pull him down. How did you say. get him? Jesus Christ! He knows relax. comic books. I don't know comic books. I do. Uh, I, Jimmy I, does. I, yeah. I know you. <laughs> I saw Hulk. Years. You yeah. don't know comic books. You got you Hulk jacket. underpants. On. I do. So you got underoos. You're wearing underoos. X Men '94 was the one with the uh, <laughs> new X Men. Yeah. See, Jimmy knows. I see Hulk. He's got Hulk the Green Lantern. It's funny if I took these off a kid that I just molested. <laughs> Jesus. Let me see the, let me see the underwear. Big fucking kid. A kid. I mean a goat. And then his pants. I never heard of them. What brand are those? It's called the uh, Gap, you fucking fool. No, on the tag on the back. I didn't know if that was... Uh, it's a Gap. There's a Gap. So the I don't know. the Sorry, brand of how much you had to weigh to get into them. I don't have to get my pants off of eBay from 1978. <laughs> <laughs> you and your acid wash. I want to see what kind of... Acid wash is coming back, Bob. Yeah, it They're is. Groovy. It's a groovy. Yeah, 20 is years it? later. Is it? Why are you standing with confidence now? I don't know. I'm You're making standing. us uncomfortable. I have a knee brace on. It gives me confidence. Sweetie. <laughs> Right. Make the road warrior. I want to see right, the well, underwear with down. the cartoons on them. I know you Or do. just tell me what they are. I don't have to see it. You probably want to jerk off on them, too. No, 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 I'm not attracted to you, but I just want to see the... Right. What? What do you mean you're not attracted to me? Let me see. Oh, oh wow. Where? I can't see anything but a couple of bad lines. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, you want to see my undies? Lift it up. It's uh, it, the Hulk banished for outer space. It's just like a, it's an old Hulk. All right, deadliest catch. Move back with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want to go noodling in Bob's crack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do uh, some lines of the day, uh, some runner-ups, and all the all the rest. Don't put my cock on the side, Sam. A little less depressed now that you came Bob? back on our show. Yes. Yeah. Big comeback. You should have Colin back more. Colin had want to come on. I you always tell really him come on here a lot. Yeah. Stop. That's what he. That's what Jimmy tells us. When I, you I, got I go gig, also especially Jimmy when you tells got us gigs. You have no interest to be on our. But show. even if you're not plugging a gig, come on yeah. in. And then when you're plugging gigs, we yeah, got, he, we got what they call put the s's in the seats. But, but you, though, Jimmy he, says no interest from no, me. No, no, I didn't say that. Let me give you my here's my confidence with Colin. Colin, how come we don't come on anymore? Shut your mouth. Yeah. I was trying to talk. I was trying to talk to him about doing a show on Saturday nights for XM. And I couldn't get anywhere with them, so maybe maybe it's how you like the, like Shut negotiate. But I mean, I mean, I'm like, dude, how come you've been around? Shut your mouth, you phony! Yeah. Oh, it's true. And that's the end of the conversation, and you're trying to get real stuff done. I was trying to get real stuff done in the hallway. Right. I'm like, oh, forget it. <laughs> I just gave up. He shoved me off on D to Danny. <laughs> right. I was like. <laughs> I don't know when he's joking, when he's serious, when he's depressed, when he's happy. Well, let's You're face hard to it, figure it wasn't out exactly the best offer ever. It was like, hey, we have no money. Yeah, that's How the first thing I heard. We don't have Look, money. How'd you like to do no one money. hour once a month on Saturday? Yeah. For one night, I can make money. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, we we don't even have that figured out because we got, we have all the comedians uh, doing shows on Saturday when they're supposed to be out doing yeah, no one's getting gigs paid. for real money. So we should do that during the week is what we should do. You want to do? You, know, you guys do, do nothing during the week. We should pre-tape it Wednesday nights. Oh, oh, <laughs> pre-tape. Hi, Jack. And then, then run it. Phone call Thursday. Uh, <laughs> meow. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a cat. Yeah, cat noise. All right, let's go. Runner-up line of the day. Ooh. All right, hit it. We gotta that do what the hell is that? boy outfit alone. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's working for the weekend. <laughs> Colin, runner up line yeah. of the day. Huh? Woo! What do you get for that? I don't know. I, I would hope um, that would paddle. be a two pronged. I was hoping it would be a two pronged uh, runner up right there. Why? Because the line right after it was very funny. Yeah, but we're trying to make Colin. We're yeah, to but it could have been there. like a co. They're trying to put me in a good mood. Hey, hey, Ixnay, we all knew that the amp, but we all also knew that we were, we were trying to lift him up today. The next line was because he doesn't work during the week. I know. Like oh, Jimmy threw that out right. there, mocking the fact that Steve but, is a lazy but bum. But Jimmy sees what's going on here. That's why he kept quiet. No, yeah. I didn't. I, to... I said that. I was yeah. robbed. <laughs> 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 All right, here's another oh. runner-up line of the day. Jeff, what's going on? <laughs> so hey, boys, how you doing? Good. I, uh, Bob, uh, I was the guy who bought you breakfast on Wednesday, Newark Airport. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Thank you, buddy. Oh, that was How a you doing, man? good, buddy. I, what, did your credit card company call up? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was stolen. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go, Jimmy. See, Jimmy still gets one. Jimmy still gets one, and Colin still feels good about himself. Every, everything's good right now. And I'm still a hunk of shit. Fucking <laughs> Opie. You might be uh, getting a line of the day. He was implying that you ate so much that I, even if put on <laughs> a credit card, that the credit card shit. company would say, oh, my God, this has to be a stolen card. 
Dude, what the fuck? Dude, Jimmy we just almost farted. Had a perfect show, and you had to end it with that shit. I wouldn't say it was perfect. Jimmy uh, farted and uh, really stunk it up. Come on. I can finish the show for you guys because it's not coming over here. Hey, next up. Oh, yeah, actually, it's Fog Hat. <laughs> it, has, it's not, it hasn't come. <laughs> I'm auditioning for the new station. Fog hey, hat. next what? up. What station? <laughs> All right, listen. Fog Hat. They're looking for DJs. I'm auditioning for the station. They pay big money. Hey, next up, the Stone Roses. Is this more <laughs> This is more bitter Colin Quinn, right? Yes. Yeah, I love bitter Colin Quinn. Let's develop that. Next up. Me and you. The Smithereens. I, I see eight episodes. Bitter Colin no, Quinn. No, I'll do we'll do it on Saturday night when I'm getting no For money. one hour and no money. <laughs> well that then I go, the, he goes and then he goes my, and I was like Yeah, you know, I was like yeah, and he goes, My advice is just start with one hour. I just said yeah. one or two. Start with a minute. No, you throw me under the bus. I'm the only one trying to help you out here. Ooh. Oh, wow. What, with a free show on the radio? No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're going to beat the shit out of each other after this uh, show. And <laughs> hey, this is uh, Kathy nice. Kathy Griffin. I love her. Huh? What about her? Very funny. She is very funny. Like her TV show? Yeah. What are you trying to say? I'll do the E list. <laughs> he goes, if you can see no peace face. I like, he goes, well. Tony Montana's sister on Pal Talk here. Have you seen her? Hey. Uh, yeah. Right. I don't mind. Uh, uh, line of the day. How am I going to scar like that from any pussy? He's a nice man. Line of the day. You fuck me, Tony. Hey. <laughs> Where did you get this money, Antonio? The worst of the other play, Paulo? Oh, yeah. All right, good. Uh, don't forget. Fuck me, Tony. Fuck me. <laughs> line of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Line of the day. A lot of pomp and circumstance goes along with this. Very important. Colin put on a few pounds. <laughs> did he, I put on a few. Did he? Yeah, of course I did. But like, I'm a person that that got fat. Yeah. I'm not a person that is fat. <laughs> Bob should be like, you know, throwing a spear at a whale. Like, <laughs> Manitoba. You, you look at my Aunt Peggy, fatso. <laughs> aunt, aunt. Look right the now. size of his head. <laughs> look at your head. At least I have, a, I have my hair left. You look you like a, I'd rather have you look like the, you, look like the, you look like the fat mosque in Iraq. <laughs> the Sunni insurgent is going to blow up the mosque. Darn. <laughs> it was basically that whole interaction. That whole interaction. Oh, that's great. No, no. I give it to Colin. Wow. Uh, of course you yeah, do. Yeah, but it was more Colin, but good Bobby point, Bobby. Fucker. <laughs> Bobby had if I get a show, you'd give it to me. <laughs> Bobby had a good line. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to. Colin's references is so fucking crazy, though. <laughs> they're Jesus. called Lonely. Yeah, yeah. When he's sitting home watching nothing but 11 hours of television. <laughs> what was the <laughs> best? Pick a few up. He's alone. What was the best Bob Kelly slam? It was Colin backstage at the Hard Rock about the uh, oh. last minute gift at a... Uh, Chinese air. Oh, was God it, uh, no, damn. No, was it... Uh, I don't think wow. he said Chinese. Yes, he did. No, it was, it was well, a, uh, like a last it was a whole, gift uh, Hong Hawaii. Kong airport. Hong Kong Hong airport. Kong. The but Hong Kong airport. My, it was a Buddha joke, everyone. But if you remember my slam back, he was wearing a grass skirt, and I said, is that your Comedy Central contract you're wearing? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. That led to the depression. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, what right the hell there. was that, Bob? That hit a little Because that was the last time we saw him, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. I think it was Flavor Flav taking over the show. Oh yeah, well, yeah you might have done it. You white guys scared behind him. Hey, can we have our show back? I guess um, not. Okay, whatever. Oh, like you were gonna say something. I, I left. What are you? That gonna... is one of the greatest moments in Opie and Anthony history. I oh. just saw fucking Norton Flavor dancing. Flav was supposed to do four minutes tops. He did a fucking that hour was... long concert where he okay. introduced every person he ever met in his like... life. <laughs> yeah, but the I like I was on is... a Zimbabwe farm. It was all. It was. All your fans. It was not one black guy in the crowd, and oh. he brought his daughter out, and they go, "Show your tits." That was show yeah. your tits. It was like Animal House. We if were... I were you, I'd be leaving. What a good idea! <laughs> we should have just walked out. Wow. They were rapping, and then you guys were in the back, and your heads were just bobbing. Bob. The Negroes <laughs> took our show. You know what, Bob, you you are a hundred percent right. You can kill us. Yeah, bobbing our heads. While yeah, we, were, we didn't know what the fuck to do. He hijacked our show. All of syndication. Tom Chiasano's yelling at me backstage. We got to end this. I'm like, yeah. Why don't you? Yeah, fuck? you get out there and end yeah. it. Why don't you go out there with your stupid tie and and, and and suit and, and end this? While they were all on stage, Colin leaned over to me and went, "Looks like the last king of Scotland." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we showed uh, what pussies we were. That I thought like I was in a pot with a pith helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor Flav 
Flavor Flav thought everyone was there to see him. He thought everyone was there to see him. He thought it was his. He thought it was his show. He thought it was his record release party. <laughs> CD release thing? party, right? <laughs> he said, "Yo, this is my daughter. This is my other daughter. This is my son. This is my other daughter. This it's is my son." He brought out 19 kids. <laughs> By the way, it's got to be acknowledged because it's coming in a lot. Unfinished clone didn't even get a mention today. A lot of a lot of the listeners. Love that was a good one. one. That was a good one. Yes. He really does look like the one still in the jelly hanging on the wall. All right. I Don't it. push it. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you. We were Thank acknowledging you. it. Thank you. We're acknowledging You're it. right. I'm gonna. You're funny. Let's Thank leave you. it at that. Opie, Anthony. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for acknowledging. Bob, me. we'll see it Mohegan Sun Saturday. This yes. One, this one's gonna be a great one though. We're at the oh, casino. Yeah. A lot of fun. Three card. Three card. Three card. As long as you play first, and then oh, let me sit man. down in your seat. This motherfucker. <laughs> I warmed the seat up for him. I uh, left, and he hit on a what? Second card. Straight flush. Straight flush. Yeah. 30 to 1, is that it? Yeah. yeah 30 right? Three one. of a kind's 40? No. 40 to 1? Yeah. No, no. Three of a kind's less. Uh, straight flush. Straight is, flush uh, is the top dog. Uh, the top All right. One. He did top to dog. dog. Top Two dog. hands yeah. after I left the table. 40 yeah. to 1. 40 Thank to God Opie was drunk, because he had this smile like, I'm going to kill you, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice just openly laughs at the dealers when when you are like hitting you playing blackjack and the dealers in one of those slumps where they're just dealing out blackjack and winning hands. Patrice openly points and laughs at the dealer going, "Ah, you lost again, you sucker!" Yeah, that's why there's not going to be an NBA team in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of behavior, and that's why. He's <laughs> Colin Quinn, Caroline. Uh, We've been trying to get off the air for 20 minutes. We yeah. actually were going to end early because we got meetings and we're kind of kind of in bonus time. Yeah, uh, a little bit. But then again, there was 15 minutes there that ugh, was a little shaky with the we'll show. We'll cut it up. Yeah, so we'll cut that part out. And then, out we'll, all, then we'll look like radio stuff. Cut out all the uh, cat noises at yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. Right, cat noises have Please to go. Every reference mm -hmm. to Cat Noise Wednesday, out. Cat noises are now going to take over. And Jimmy! I'm telling you, the meowing <laughs> has yeah. only begun. Jimmy! I want people meowing. All right, Colin, Caroline. Thanks. You, you'll get the, the Good fan, to be back, boys. Oh, fan yeah. support. When are you coming back? You name it, I'm back. <laughs> How about in two weeks? No more depression. I like that. Why not? This is the new Colin Quinn. No, I like being depressed. It's, it's down the bitter, in the dumps. You're down in the dumps. The bitter but Colin, Colin Quinn is a good best. character, but we don't need you depressed. Have you I'll ever seen a happy, fun Colin Quinn be, like, fun? Have you ever seen a happy, fun comedian? No. No. Yes. I oh. constantly oh, talked about how miserable they are. Give you an idea how stupid Norton is. He actually is proud. He did seven shows in Buffalo. I didn't do any in Buffalo. I was glad you said you. that and saved me from my last bomb. Let's Why? get out of here. You know who you would assume is cut off the show. I like know you can edit. The happiest comic around. Who? Brian Regan, right? Brian oh, Regan. He's got dark side. Fun, dark like side. clean comic. Side. I will go to my grave <laughs> yeah. with with stuff that I have heard and seen from Brian Regan. Really? That just is beyond. And and it proves the point that every comic, I don't care who they are or what their act is like, are just either miserable or, or, or fucked up somehow. Funniest live performer ever, Jimmy Jackson. With the bull. <laughs> Jimmy Jackson. <laughs> bull and the fat guy. Hysterical with his right, chariot let's... and uh, his racism. Let's babble. <laughs> uh, let's babble. The chariot. Uh, let's babble. Girl, let's, we've been babbling. Let's, yeah. let's get out of here. Yeah, it's time for right. meetings. We've been doing well, uh, Let's meet. Bye, guys. What? Bye. Have a meeting. <laughs> See you guys Saturday. All right. Shut the um, equipment off. Huh? I always feel like funny getting up and leaving with the equipment yeah, all yeah, still yeah, on. Stop. We yeah. Shut it down, Dan. We shut down the show. This old cat. Well, I mean, you can't stop talking until it's over. You know how it is. What? Yeah. What are you talking That's about? It's good, man. That's why everyone's babbling. Oh. Where are you going, Quinn? I gotta go. Um, I'll tell you exactly where I'm going. Hold on. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I'm going to the Catholic Channel first. I'm a little late for that. The Catholic yeah, Channel. I mean, they, you guys don't how, are you, how are you doing? Oh, oh like Suato? Then I'm going to minutes? Getting Late with Pete. <laughs> Bobby, yeah. you're going to like this one. Then after the Catholic Channel, I'm going to Getting Late with Pete Dominic. And then what are you doing? Comedy by request with Pete Dominic. And then what? The Bauer Show. Oh, yeah. You got a whole thing of shows you got to do today? Brewer Unleashed. That's it. Who's tell Brewer Bauer? we said hi. That's a lot of fucking press. And tell Brewer we said hi. Pete Even though he's over there. And, and not Pete to be Dominic? a stranger. What? Don't you want me to tell Pete Dominic you said hi to I don't know him. Oh, I know I'll Pete. For you. Really? You a good guy? Oh, he's Fuck that guy. All right. Hey, Colin. Tell the Catholic Channel we said hi, or whatever it is. 
I don't know why. You want to get some food? No. What do you mean, no? Uh, <laughs> How about when you, you're about to get food? To why not? I don't want to break bread with you this evening. <laughs> I don't want to break <laughs> bread with you. What's wrong with you, dude? I don't want to. Why? I'm not doing anything else. I don't want to. <laughs> <You're not doing laughs> I, don't, I don't think I would enjoy your company. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is some honesty. Yeah, you can't give it to him. It's all he's got left is honesty. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have anything to do, but you I don't want to eat with you. you laugh like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> it's all I have left. You're right. I don't have the fucking bountiful uh, gift you've got left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Bye, boys. Ah, uh, Mr. Uh, Quinn, take it easy. Hey, Always hey, a hey, pleasure. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Colin. <laughs> take it easy, Bobby. <laughs> Characters. Uh, never realized we're still on the air. It's hey, always the way. Never get it. How many times can we do this gag? How many times can we actually pull this gag off? Before they know. Still waiting. <laughs> that way, yeah, I know. Please, that was good. That was you got some really funny stuff. So you think it stops when the mics, uh, when they think the mics are off? That shit will continue constantly. They just bash each other. How you want to become part of that uh, fan? That whole fraternity of just shitting on each other and people. Do you agree with the comics or fucked up? Oh yeah. Thing. Yeah. You got your ghosts and skeletons and. Sometimes I'm worried I'm not fucked up enough. Fucked up enough? Yeah. That can only mean you're so fucked up <laughs> that you don't even see it. Because, like, if you if you see your fucked up in this, then that's kind of cool. It's like the people that, if you think you're crazy, you're not crazy kind of a thing, mm -hmm. which I don't believe anyway. Yeah. I think every crazy person knows they're fucking crazy. But if you're, if you're a comic and you think you're not fucked up enough, you're probably twice as fucked up as a comic should even be. Yay! Good for you. Eric's telling us we're running out of time yeah. to air the Paulo bit. Yeah, we got to do the Paulo bit. Yeah, right. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, fuck the Anthony show. Yeah, I hear you. Right. Good. How about the Iraq show then? Go fuck yourself. Are you still on the air? Yeah, I'm uh, done though. All right. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Political talk.